What's going on, everybody? Hey, man, uh, 
It's good to see you guys in here. I mean, look, Ninjinzu coming in hot. He was number one. He was the first one today. But right after that, Shazama and, I mean, we got Robert Rivera. We got Ricky. Look, how's it going? Ito Ramos is waiting. Hmm. Interesting. And uh, and apparently, apparently, uh, are, are we tied? We're tied now. We're tied in the flavor poll. Now, look, here's the thing. Let's just get into it, right? Because the flavor poll. Last week, we had chocolate eclair, right? We had the raspberry white chocolate cheesecake. But for some reason, I just wanted to throw this in there. This is a this is an old favorite. You know, this is one we've tried. I mean, I've tried this so many times, but it's good. And, you know, I've got my uh, beautiful. Just look at that. Just look at it. Look at how beautiful that wick job is. I mean, we're ready to go. So it's basically whichever guys, you know, you guys want. Now, these two, I'm going to have to mix. So just keep that in mind, too. Not that it matters. But how's it going? How is it going, everybody? Yes, the Joker 2 trailer is coming out tonight uh, in approximately an hour and a half. I figure we'll watch it live. We'll talk about it. We'll, we'll yeah, let's, let's see what we can see. And Bucho is here. Cosma is here. Welcome. It's good to see you guys. Yeah. Good to see you. Uh, let's see what else we what else we got here. Yeah, I mean, okay, peanut butter peanut butter is is uh, in first place right now with 44% of the votes. But hey, we'll just keep that keep that going. So so how, what's up? What's new? What's going on? Lady Gaga, I mean, look, she's talented. You know? And this is one of those situations where I don't really want to judge it until I see it. Because when I hear, I mean, look, I'm not a big musical guy. I'm, I'm just not. But there are some musicals that I've watched that I really like. So I'm willing to give it a shot. And it's, it's, it's Joaquin Phoenix is the Joker, you know? So this is still way too high. Would you turn down, please? Because holy crap. It's kind of cold in here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Whew. But anyway. So yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys saw. I went and watched Civil War last night. Did a review. I don't know how it's. I, I honestly don't remember how it's doing. Oh, it's doing okay. It's doing, doing okay. A couple hundred views. It's not bad. But look, here's the thing. I just, I just wanted to point this out. Because I thought it was kind of neat. I say something in my review. Because I did this, I, I I mean, I basically, by the way, crazy rainstorm, like thunderstorm that I had to drive home in, I could barely see. So I was like, oh God, I, it was, it was a tense, a tense drive home because it was from Dallas. I had to drive to Dallas to see this because it was only playing in one theater in all of Dallas, Fort Worth. So yeah, um, driving home in this crazy rain and woof, got home, sat down here. And I mean, I just started writing. So I, had, I, I've, I didn't think I was going to have a whole lot to say, but I did. But the review was cool. You know, I, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the movie for what it was. There is a, there is a problem. In my opinion, there is an issue with the movie. And it's just kind of interesting because I pointed out non-spoilery. And then I go into the spoiler thing, right? Chris Stuckman in his review today, said the exact same thing I did, like the exact same thing. And it was like, wow, okay. Because I thought I was going to be like the only person that didn't like it. Because it's it's sitting at like 93% over on Rotten Tomatoes. So it's like, apparently the critics really like it. So I thought it was going to be the only one thinking this thing in the movie that I didn't like, I thought I was going to be the only one. So it's kind of cool to, you know, it's, it's a little, uh, what do you call it? Not confirmation, but... Um, you know what I mean, right? Words. You're a writer and you can't even come up with the word. No, I can't. Okay. So get off my back. Just get off my back. Okay. But anyway, I just think it's, I just thought it was, I just thought it was interesting because it was like, I thought, I thought mine was 
my take on it was going to be something that a lot of people wouldn't agree with, but apparently he did. But a lot of the reviews I watched, because I watched a bunch of reviews after, after the fact, right? As I'm putting it up, you know, it's, it's uploading and I'm sitting here watching some reviews and people are just going on and on about how much they love it. And I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm going to be like the only person because <laughs> I, I, you know, I never intend to be contrarian or anything like that. I just talk about what I talk about, you know, and I tell you what I think, honestly, because you know what? There's this guy in chat. This guy loves honesty, he loves it. When I'm honest, he wants me to say that I'm honest, to be honest. Yeah. So there you go. Boot you, everybody. But anyway, I just thought that was neat. I just thought it was kind of a cool thing. So yeah, there you go. Not bad in uh, Gucci. I still haven't seen that. That's in, that's one of those movies. I, I, I own it. I don't think I own the Blu-ray. I own, I think I own it digitally. Because when I found out there wasn't going to be a 4K, I was like, well, I don't really care if it's a digital copy, you know? Do you, here's a question. Here, here's, here, here's a question. There's going to be a lot of people that say, no, I don't buy any movies. But if you buy movies, do you buy mostly 4K or Blu-ray? Do you buy physical? Do you buy digital? Do you buy a mixture of the two? Because there's a lot of people that seem to be in this 4K camp or Blu-ray camp that are like, oh, if you buy digital, then blah, blah, blah. And I don't need blah, blah, you know what I mean? And I'm like, I own both. I don't, I don't like, I don't know. I don't know how many movies I actually have. I've never counted. But it's got to be in the 600, 700 range. And then I have like 400 digital movies. So I, don't, I have a lot of movies. I buy a lot. Over the years, I've bought a lot. And for a while there, I didn't buy any physical media because I just thought, oh, well, the digital is, is fine. But then when I did all the upgrades, I'm like, okay, I can actually see the difference between the disc version and the and the digital version. So, you know, you got to have it. So I'm just curious. What do you guys think? Anyway, let's get back to it. We know you aren't a musical guy. You don't even like Motley Crue. Look, here's the thing. All right. Here's the thing. Motley Crue, Poison, all those hair bands in the mid 80s, late 80s, just not my thing. Just not my thing. I like Guns N' Roses. Do you consider them a hair metal band though? But a lot of that stuff I just don't like. I don't care for it. Look, sue me. Don't sue me. In fact, I don't think you can sue me if I just have a difference of opinion, right? No. But yeah. So, yeah, and then there was the, uh, yeah, the, what do you call it? The, the eclipse yesterday. That was fun. Just saying. It was pretty neat. I was one of those people that was like, whatever, you know? I, I made the, 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 the observation that when you really think about it, the fact that the, uh, the moon is going in front of the sun it's it's kind of like those people that kind of obsess over, you know, the, the speedometer being a cool number and seeing it as it's happening. And I'm like, it's really no different than that. You know, I mean, it's it's a thing that happens and mathematically it happens or whatever. And, and but I got to say it was really neat. We had totality here for about like 90 seconds to two minutes, something like that. It wasn't very long, but it was really cool. And what was also interesting is hearing how silent everything got because like all the birds, they all were all like, oh, it's bedtime, you know? And it was just, it was, it was cool. And of course there were a ton of people at home because apparently they, the kids weren't in school yesterday. So there was, as soon as it happened, you could hear everywhere people screaming, yeah, you know? And it was like, that was kind of neat. It was kind of cool. So anyway, yeah, it was, it was neat. It was neat. Rob should watch the dirt. What's that? Not sure what that is. Rufus and Carbonite. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. Tommy Markle Jr. Good to see you. 
Uh, 700 degrees cooked on the grill, hamburgers and whatnot. Oh, that sounds nice. That sounds nice, Cosma. It was, it was actually a little chilly here today. It was kind of, cause it was, like I said, it was, it rained, uh, all night last night. And then it rained some this morning, but the, it just never got warm today. So it was like, ugh. can't wait to ha uh, hang out Retropalooza and have the burgers with you at dinner and, uh, with me and Eric, I guess. Cause he has to be, the wait, he has one to be there for it. Yeah, Tommy, let's, let's do it, man. Let's hang out. It's going to be fun. Oh my gosh, when is that? Uh, Retro Palooza, Houston. Okay, May 25th, 26th. Okay, I got time. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure that I was not, hey man, when are you, you know, you come with us? And I'm like, whoa. I don't know if Chris Stutman watches. Probably not. And he probably doesn't borrow my takes. But I just, like I said, it was just kind of cool to have that little, like, oh. Yeah, we agree on that. And I'm not the only one that felt that because I felt, I don't know. I don't know. Especially with all the reviews I watched, they were all like, oh man, Civil War is a, you know, modern masterpiece. And I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. I wasn't thinking it was a masterpiece before the scene happened. You know, I was thinking, man, I'm probably going to have to buy this. And then after that scene, I'm like, yeah, I don't think I need to see this again. I don't know. Anyway. For those of you who are interested in the Civil War movie and, and you want to go see it, go see it because you might feel completely different than I do. And you might say, no, that was, that was, that was, yeah, that was a thing that happened. It was, yes. Anyway. Uh, big old storm overnight. Hmm. That's what we had last night, man. It was, it was, it was, it was not. The, as, I, apparently they said there was hail. We didn't get any hail, but it was, I mean, the rain was heavy, like so heavy that I couldn't see the lines on the road. And also, look, you guys know I have my, my BMW, right? The angle, because the car is so low and the angle of the windshield, anything, the when it rains, it just, it just reflects everything. And I, and it's like right into my face. So like oncoming traffic, the headlights, uh, the street lights, everything just like, it's, it just makes it, it, it obscures it so much that it's hard to see. And so that car is just not fun to drive in the rain. Not at all. It's, it's kind of annoying, but anyway, uh, Best Buy available and what is on sale. Also, if I need it in time for watching with friends and family, get digital. There you go. I get that too. Because that's the coolest thing about um, like digital copies. And I know, I know there's some people that don't like them. But if you buy them on iTunes and you have a family account set up, well, everybody in your family, including people that don't live in your own house, we could that you can all share the purchases. So there's plenty of movies that my dad has bought that I can just watch. And that's cool. It's really, really nice. And then, of course, Movies Anywhere is something on top of that. Where I don't even know if they do that thing anymore where you could, like, let somebody... It's almost like letting someone borrow something. So you send them a link, they click on it, and then they have, like, 20 days to watch it or whatever. It's almost like a free rental that you can give somebody for movies that you've purchased digitally. They used to have that. I don't know if they have that anymore, but it was actually kind of a neat little service. Me and Jim uh, did that. We we would borrow movies, borrow movies from each other. It's kind of cool. Bucho loves Dr. Feelgood. Does he now? Look, I'm just, I'm sorry. I think I never was impressed with Vince Neil. Now, wait a minute. Do you, do you consider Def Leppard to be hair metal? Or a hair band? I don't know. Because Def Leppard is awesome. And Guns N' Roses, pretty awesome. I don't know. I don't know. You're being sued for not liking fun music like hair metal. Oh, God. That would not be good. The Joker 2 trailer drops 
in an hour and 15 minutes because CinemaCon is going on right now. It's going on right now. So yeah, I, I figured I figured we could give it a watch. Yeah. Like 88 miles per hour? Oh, not speedometer, odometer, right? That's what I meant. That's what I meant. You know, like, like oh, it's 65656 six, five, six, or whatever, you know, and you're like, oh, look, it's 65656, you know what I mean? That's, 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 that's my whole point. And yes, Knights of Old, good to see you. Good to see you. And yes, Shogun is awesome. I've, that's one of those where on Tuesdays, I'm, I'm excited to watch it. Like, like I, I've set aside time Tuesday, like after lunch, I'll sit down and watch it every Tuesday. And it's, I'm going to miss it when it's over. Cause it was, it's really, really good show. It's probably, it's probably the best show on TV right now, for sure. For me, at least. Bad Batch is really good, too. I mean, if you're into the Star Wars animation, that show is good. Like, really good. kind of curious if Bucho has watched any of the Bad Batch this season, because it's, uh, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, people here acting like they never saw an eclipse before. Yeah, but it's different. I've, I mean, I've seen eclipses before, sure. But the totality, if you were in, a, in an area with the totality... It is something special. And this is coming from somebody who's kind of like, yeah, whatever, you know, okay. Like a month ago, month and a half ago, April was like, hey, you need to buy these, uh, buy these for me. I'm like, what are they? They're the eclipse glasses. I'm like, okay. And then she was like, we should go somewhere where, you know, the totality lasts longer. Cause it's kind of like, there's a, you know, like, a, like towns, right? We're, we're, we were right on the edge. And of course, the closer you are to the center, the longer the eclipse lasts, right? We were on the edge. So like I said, we only got like 90 seconds. But if, if we had driven further, like toward Dallas, maybe like 20, 30 minutes, we probably would have gotten like two minutes, two and a half minutes, maybe four minutes of totality. And I got to say, it was really cool. So, just saying, it was neat. So, the next one is in what, 2045? So, 21 years from now. Yeah, you should do it. Uh, we are all leaving Rob at that time. Oh, okay. Well, if, if you, if I mean, if you guys don't want to watch it, you know, we can, we don't have to watch it. I just figured, you know, hey, it's something new and it's and it's dropping during the show. I mean, I, I figured we could watch it. If you don't want to watch it, we won't watch it. I don't care. I really don't care. Especially if you guys aren't into it. You know what I mean? Did I see the Maxine trailer? I not only saw the Maxine trailer, I saw it last night in IMAX. It's pretty good. I mean, it's it's one of those where... Like, I saw X. And... It's fine. Like, like a lot of people like went really kind of nuts about it. And I'm like, eh, it's, it's good. It's fine. It's good. It didn't, it, I didn't hate it, but I still haven't seen Pearl yet. And some people I, I saw said that Pearl was actually better than X was. I haven't seen Pearl yet, but yeah, this one looks fine. I mean, they've really nailed the, uh, the look of everything. I just, I don't know. It's fine. I was actually, look, here's the thing. I've talked about this many times, uh, many times in the past. Cinemark does this thing where, you know, like they'll do 10 minutes of commercials before the movie starts, right? The movie starts at seven, right? And at seven o'clock, they start playing commercials for 10 minutes. And then there's like 15 minutes of trailers, all of which I've seen before. So usually if the movie, if your ticket says seven o'clock, it won't start until 7.25, the movie won't actually start until then. And it's always kind of irritating, you know? And especially when the trailers have nothing to do with, uh, like, there's been times when I've, I've watched a, you know, like a rated R movie and they're playing like cartoons and stuff. And I'm like, why? I don't, I don't understand why you're playing this trailer for this audience. It doesn't fit the, because I, I think that's what, to me, it's like trailers are kind of like an opening, 
like an opening act for a comedian or an opening band. There should be some sort of crossover fanaticism. Like, like you go, oh, I'm going to see the new Marvel movie. Well, the new DC movie is the, the trailer is here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Whatever, you know, but that's not, typically that's not what it is. And it goes on for way too long. And I'm sitting there going, why didn't I just get here 20 minutes late? You know, why? Last night, they only played a few trailers. And when you're in IMAX and you've got that big ass screen, I want to see a few trailers. Like it's, it's interesting to see, uh, a movie trailer on a big screen like that. And I gotta say, man, when I first heard about it, I was kind of like, eh, I don't really need to see this. It's, I mean, I liked, I liked the, the last one, but this one, I don't know. Man, after seeing the Furiosa trailer twice now in IMAX, I want to see that movie today. That movie looks great. It looks so good. So just saying, Furiosa looks awesome. I'm excited for it. It may not be everything that I want, but it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I saw Civil War on my phone and I was just kind of bored. You saw it on your phone. Interesting. So you're definitely that person that they're talking about in the theater. If you're watching it on a little screen, you're not getting the full effect of blah, 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 blah. Ricky, you're not a movie guy. You're less of a movie guy than, uh, than I am a gaming guy. You know what I mean? Like you, you just don't have as much interest in that. And you don't have much interest in the cinematic experience, you know, sitting in the theater, watching the lights go down. You know, and, and getting all settled in and, and being like, hell yeah, show me something. Like, I still, like, I still get that excitement. I know. I'm old. I'm I'm old and I'm getting older. But every time I sit in a movie theater, I'm excited. I'm excited for the experience, especially when it's a movie I'm, I haven't seen before. But anyway. I have Redbeard from Apple and it let me download it, so I have a high-res download on my Samsung phone. There you go. Def Leppard is soft rock. Guns and Roses are soft rock. I don't know about that. I love the dirt, huh? Well, I don't know what that is. I don't know. I have a hard drive full of stuff and devices that read SD cards and play movies. So digital, I've been on board forever. But if it isn't physical, it should be free. At least discounted. Well, in many cases, the digital copies or the digital movies are discounted. Now, when it first comes out, of course, it's it's the the higher price, but very quickly they drop in price. Like I mean, every single like I said every Tuesday and every Friday, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, they all do different deals on movies, and that's why I leave that link in my description of every video I do to blu-ray.com. So not only can you find good prices on you know, physical media, like, you know, movies, books, CDs, whatever, Lego. I mean, there's, and, and games and all that stuff. There's it basically a price tracker in a, in a weird way. And it shows you what's on sale, but you can also see that for all of those digital storefronts as well. It's a, it's a great resource. So if you're, if you're into movies and you want to, you know, I typically, there's a lot of movies that I know I don't, I don't need the disc. I don't need the disc for it. Like, there's plenty of them. Um, okay, here's a great a great example of a movie that I really don't need on disc. Clerks. I love that movie, but I've seen it a billion times. Number one. Number two, it's not the best quality. It's not the best quality anyway. Romantic comedies, comedies in general. They don't need to be in 4K. You don't need to have a disc, in my opinion. I would rather, you know, wait for a sale, wait for it to go down to $4.99 and just own the movie that way. And in so many cases, there's so many movies that, that I'm like, I don't even know if I'm going to be into this, but I might just buy it if it's $5. So that's a great thing. You know, I, I think that's, 
that using digital to watch more movies is definitely a plus because there's so many movies that go on sale. I mean, Kino Lorber is still running their big uh, physical media sale right now over on KinoLorber.com, right? There's so many movies that I've never seen before. And some of them are pretty dang cheap, but I'm like, I don't know if they're any good. Do I need to buy this movie to have on my shelf when I've never seen it before? There's so many blind buys that I've done where I'm kind of like, I mean, it was okay. Bullet Train. April wanted to see Bullet Train. I wanted to see it. She was like, just buy the digital. And I said, yeah, well, for five more dollars, we can get it on disc and have the digital and all that kind of stuff. Because what if the movie's awesome? So we just bought the 4K. But Bullet Train to me was kind of like, it was okay. It was okay. I didn't, that's, that's a movie that I probably would have waited for a $4.99 sale. Like, I don't, I don't need to watch that a bunch, but hey, it's just me. Hard drives. Hey man, I have two terabyte hard drives over here with a bunch of, a bunch of the movies that I've ripped from DVD and Blu-ray so that I can watch them on my Apple TV, right? It's pretty, pretty good. Not sure where Shogun's going after last night's. Well, I'm pretty sure I know where it's going and I'm excited because that show is great. That show is great. And apparently, uh, I can't remember his name. Is it Cosmo something? The guy that plays uh, Anjin, right? What's his actual name? John Blackthorn. Is that his name? Whatever the guy's name is, the, the, the main character that's you know, the white dude. He apparently lives like minutes from Leon. He says, I, I've never met him, but he's, he apparently lives really close to me. That's kind of interesting. Uh, everything has a hard drive. I don't get the joke. If it's a four, four terabyte solid state external. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. I mean, I don't, I don't have any, actually, I probably still have some spinning disc drives. Yeah, all of these are, I think. But they're all, uh, what do you call them? Lacy drives, which are, Lacy makes really, really nice drives. Um, I won't, I won't, I'll wait for the Lacy's to go on sale. I won't buy C, I don't, I don't, usually don't buy Seagate's. Western Digitals have failed on me multiple times in the past. I don't buy Western Digital, but there you go. Movies Anywhere ended the lending sharing recently, but digital is convenient if you have people over and want to riff in the style of Mystery Science Theater riff tracks or going to watch party in a moment's notice. Absolutely. But I didn't know they, they got rid of the sharing. That sucks. That was actually pretty neat. I like that. My PC has like three hard drives. SSDs are hard drives. Twas a joke. Matt Walls, good to see you. What's up? I went to Illinois to see the eclipse. I'm currently trying to learn Photoshop to try and stack photos on top of each other to get a high megapixel image. Interesting. I've never, I've never actually used Photoshop for that for that purpose. So good luck with that. I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I mean, I'm, I mean, I get the idea of it. I've just never done it. But there you go. Uh, Pearl Necklace. I was talking about Pearl the movie. You know what I was talking about. Are the trailers ear bleedingly loud? Um, I'll tell you when I went and saw Dune Part Two. That was at the AMC in Grapevine, which is not close. Um, they had the trailers turned up almost too loud. Um, but during the movie, it was still pretty dang loud, but I really liked it. It worked for the movie. Um, this one, the trailers weren't that loud, but the movie was, and I think that was more of the sound design. The it's civil war is one of those movies that is the mix is so aggressive and it's intense, but it's meant to make you feel like you're in a war situation. You know what I mean? And from that perspective, it was awesome. But it was weird that I, I I didn't actually think about it until you said it, that yeah, the, the trailers were actually a little quiet 
at this IMAX, which is a Cinemark IMAX in Dallas that I went to. And uh, by the way, I mean, I have a note for it, but apparently they're bringing Dune Part 2 back to IMAX theaters starting next Friday, the 19th. So if you've wanted to see Dune Part 2 in IMAX and you didn't get around to it, you have another chance. I want to see it again uh, in IMAX if I can. The thing that I missed out on, which I knew I should have just done it, you know, and just went that weekend or whatever, or the next weekend or during the week or whatever. I should have, uh, I wanted to go see Dune Part 2 in the, uh, the Dolby Cinema at AMC because there's a lot of people, if you read on Reddit and the movie threads and stuff, and people are talking about IMAX versus Cinemark XD versus this versus that, a lot of people say that Dolby Cinema is the best all around experience to them. Like there's a lot of people that, that believe that. And I think I've only seen one movie in Dolby cinema and that was Blade Runner 2049. And it was awesome. Okay. It was really good. That one was almost ear shatteringly loud though. I remember that one because it was, that one was almost too high, but yeah. Maybe for the late people, because plenty of, oh yeah, well, no, and I get that, Ninjinzu, but I'm sorry. No. No. Don't wait. Don't wait for people who can't, you know, be at a thing at the right time. Screw you. I'm sorry. I'm here on time. I'm here five minutes early. I'm sitting in my seat. I'm, I'm messing around on Discord or on Twitter or whatever, waiting for the movie to start. I don't need to wait any longer. And especially when it's 725. But you know what? I have changed my my viewpoint um, pretty drastically on that based on, on, on the stuff that you guys were saying where it's like, I'd rather have commercials in a theater than not have theaters. And I, I completely agree with that. I completely agree with it. Even though I feel like it's almost... The act of doing that is almost detrimental to the whole idea of the sin of the movie being the most important thing. And that you're supposed to be giving people an experience that they don't get anywhere else. Well, when I'm at home and I'm streaming on Netflix or whatever, unless you have the, the lower tier stuff, I don't have to watch commercials. So the fact that you're making me watch commercials before I see the movie at the time that it's supposed to be, it's it's a little infuriating. But I totally agree with you. I would rather have them have commercials than not have theaters because theaters are awesome. So, there you go. Anyway. Uh, and yeah, adults watch cartoons too, but it just doesn't, it doesn't even come close to, like, okay. Give you, I mean, this is not something that actually happened, but this is just an example. Let's say you're going to see Maxine. Okay. And now let's just pretend that this movie was coming out after Maxine did. But would you want to see a trailer for Kung Fu Panda 4 when you're going to watch Maxine? Does that fit? Does that even fit the clientele that came that comes to watch a movie like Maxine? No. So play the trailers. Sure. But at least get them somewhere in the vicinity of the kind of movie that, you know, that you're watching, you know, I, I don't know. Because that was one of the best things is when you'd go to it like a, like you're going to a, a like a, a rated R movie with a bunch of action and blood violence and all that kind of stuff. Like, like, let's say John Wick, right? You're going to see a John Wick movie. You get to see a bunch of red band trailers that at that, you know, I remember this back in the day, you'd get to see a bunch of red band trailers that you wouldn't have seen otherwise. I mean, of course, now the internet, you know, you can watch whatever. And most of the trailers that come out, if they want to make it red band, they just make it red band and who cares, you know, but I don't know. Solid and hard sound like synonyms. And I never said disc. I guess I don't have any hard drives in my computer. My bad. I guess I'll just call them drives now to avoid pedantry. You're cinematic, Ricky. Hmm. I need my must love dogs rom-com in 4K. Stone Sour 8, I pirate all my movies, a lot of them, in 4K. Hmm. Well, see, here's the thing, though. Uh, the, the, and here's the problem, Stone Sour. First off, in a lot of cases, 
you're not going to have the bit rate's not going to be there. So it's it's almost the same as the the, the conversation that uh, I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm just trying to be clear and upfront here. A lot of times what you're downloading is not going to be anywhere close to the bit rate that you would get off of a disc. And in a lot of cases, they don't give a crap about sound. So you're not going to have a Dolby Atmos track and a Dolby 5.1 track and a Dolby stereo track if for whatever reason you don't have a, a 5.1 or Atmos setup. So that's the thing that I like about um, not only like official digital purchases and discs, but also on top of that, at my age, advanced age, sure, but at my age, I can't justify pirating anymore because I can pay for it. And I think that even though even though the people that made the thing have already been paid, it still feels wrong to me to take something that I didn't pay for. You know, I, it's just, that's just me though. That's just me. And everybody's got their own thing and everybody can rationalize how they want. But for me, I can't rationalize it anymore. So I don't. And especially seeing it happen to me when we made our movie and seeing it being pirated and people saying, all this stuff and, and, you know, um, basically destroying our movie on IMDB, you know, with bad ratings, just because for some reason they didn't like one person out of the, I don't know, 50, 60 people that worked on the movie. That's annoying. And I don't, I just don't agree with that, but you do you, you know, I'm just saying that for me, I can't do it anymore. And I like the best possible quality I can get. But then again, I'm a, I'm a movie dork, right? I love my movies. And Anagriana, is that how you say that? Have I shown the Joker 2 trailer yet? No, because it premieres at 8.30. So approximately, I mean, less than an hour from now. It's supposed to premiere. So yeah, oh, there you go. Thank you, Rufus, for answering that question. Uh, that, wait, 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 wait. That may not be a thing. He may just talk about it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, Ricky, that's the thing. I mean, most people, I mean, I mean, who? yeah, what are you going to do? You know, what are you going to do? Somebody wants to pirate a movie. I mean, that's not up to me. You know, all I can say is give you the reasons why I don't. And you can take that information and go, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's worth it. I'd rather just pirate it. Okay. Well, I mean, I did my part. I mean, I can't make you not do it. And I'm, I was guilty of that in the past, but I just can't rationalize that anymore. I have the money to pay for my entertainment, so I will. And in, in some cases, I go overboard. Like when, when Dune was released, the first Dune movie was released in theaters. I was going to watch it on HBO Max, which I was paying for, but I also bought two tickets to a screening because I wanted to support the movie. And I wanted to support the director and everything. Because box office matters. You know, I mean, I know that a lot of people, you know, they look at a movie like, let's say, I don't know, let's just say a Transformers movie, right? I'm not a big fan of Transformers, but a lot of those movies made money. But then when a new one comes out, it may not be for me, but if people just, instead of going to support the movie in a movie theater, they just pirate it. Well, that movie doesn't make as much of the box office, which means we may not get any more. So it's just one of those things where I just, I, I can't justify it anymore. Knowing that that's how that, that stuff works. I don't know. It's just, it's just me though. It's just me. Lost my son's first moments video because, because Western digital, I get that they are garbage. I mean, it's just my, that's been my experience with them. So I just don't do it. I've never heard of another Pearl movie. Well, yeah, it's the, it's the same uh, director, writer, and actress. Mia Goth, right, is in Pearl. So there you go. Gotta go. Destiny FOMO is streaming on Twitch. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, there you go. I'm going to the theater movie place thingy for The Mummy, and that's awesome. See, I like, I like hearing that. Abraham, how is it going? Good to see you. <laughs> Trailers have to fit the vibe. That's why, like Alamo, they have a pre-show clips that get you in the mood for the movie. I mean, I think that's just smart, right? 
but that's just me. Well, it's not just me, but that's what I think. And Ted, how's it going? Good to see you. I watched The Dark Knight from a shaky cropped camera recording like 15 times before I saw the official disc. Wow, really? See that movie? I saw opening night and I'm gotta, I gotta tell you, man, it was electric in there. I love it. I, I love, I, oh, man, that was one of, that's one of my favorite movie experiences. Of course, The Matrix, uh, seeing that in the theater, opening night, Mission Impossible, the first one, seeing that opening night when he's dropping through the, the, the ceiling. I mean, it's awesome. Everybody was like dead quiet. Everybody was like on the edge of their seat. Great, man. That's, you don't get that at home. You don't get that same feeling. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, like you see a picture of the, the total eclipse, you know, and you go, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. It's something else to experience in it and feel the temperature drop. And then all the birds go quiet. And then you look up and you're seeing this awesome thing and you're like, okay, that's cool. To experience it is a different thing. I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, yeah, you can, oh, you can look at a picture of the pyramids or you can go to Egypt and actually see the freaking thing and go, wow, look at that. You know, I don't know. It's just me. I thought you were going to say I needed the closed captioning. You mean like from, from, uh, from pirating? See, there's the thing though. Here's the thing. Just saying there are, there are places on the internet where if you, uh, if you put, if you type in the movie, you can download the subtitles and attach it to the file so that when you watch it on an, on your computer, Apple TV, any of them, the closed captioning will be part of the file. So that's a thing too. I can't watch, watch a handheld bootleg. I'd rather just wait. Exactly. See, part of the reason why I stopped pirating part of it was because of when I, when I finally moved to 5.1, you know, and I got a really nice sound system for the house and realized that all of these movies that I had, they sound like crap. They sounded like crap on the, uh, on the 5.1 versus seeing it with the surround sound and all that and knowing how much space that act also takes up. It's just one of those things that, yeah. So I got bigger hard drives and ripped my movies with both the 5.1 and the, and the stereo. Why would you do that? Well, what I was able to do is when I'm watching it on my phone, like if I was, in a doctor's office and I wanted to stream the movie from here to my phone. If it was in 5.1 only, there would be no audio. So when I, when I did my conversion, I added the 5.1 track and the stereo track so that no matter what I was watching it on, I was going to have the best experience I could. But again, I'm a movie dork. That's what I do. You know, I love that stuff. But yeah, um, cams, no, nah. I don't want the first time because that's what happened for me with uh, a lot of movies in the early 2000s. I watched a lot of movies before they were even available in theaters. One of them, Attack of the Clones. The first time I saw Attack of the Clones, it was a it was a cam. And it was before the movie came out and it ruined the experience for me because I knew everything that was going to happen. And all I was doing was waiting for the scene. Oh, that looks, oh man, that, that actually looks pretty cool. Um, another one was, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was Two Towers. I saw that one before. Now, that one was actually a really nice copy, but it was still, the. to me, it's like you can only see a movie for the first time once. I want that to be in a theater, experiencing it with a lot of people. It's just but I'm a movie dork. That's what I do. So there you go. I like closed captioning though. Uh, what about X-rated movies, Rob? Pirated? Well, I mean, I don't own any X-rated movies, so I mean, it's just not my thing, you know? That's just not my thing. Pirated 4K movies I get are direct rips from the 4K discs. The files are 80 gigs plus full Dolby. A oh, okay. Now see, okay. Honestly, 
from a from a technical standpoint, I didn't know that that was even available because I stopped doing it so so long ago. But for me, that's the other thing is I still can't justify that. I can't justify that. So there you go. Poll is getting interesting between first and second. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. I think we'll probably give that another 15 minutes or so. So yeah, again, up on the docket, chocolate eclair. And raspberry white chocolate cheesecake, both from Australia. And uh, you know, hey, that. There you go. Uh A guy out front of Dollar General's got all the new releases. Well, I mean, yeah. Do I ever go to Alamo? Shozama. I have been to Alamo twice, and it's not a bad experience, but it's not my preferred experience. And it's because I don't like people walking in front of me while I'm in the movie. Like, like I'm into the movie. I'm, I'm locked in. I don't want somebody disrupting that. So coming by and going, oh, can you pay your bill for the one? Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I'm trying to enjoy the film. Now, if it's something that I've already seen, like if I'm going back and seeing it again, that would be a great way to do that. But I personally would never go to Alamo or any of those, you know, restaurant in a movie type things for the first time I'm watching a movie. I don't, I don't enjoy it. So I was in my early twenties and poor, was just happy to get it on opening night. Still haven't watched the third movie with Bane. Hmm. A lot of people don't like that one. I really enjoy that one, but the first time I watched it, I, it pissed me off. I hated that movie the first time I saw it, but expectations, right? Uh, same with concerts. Listening to a song is great, but it's not the same as being there watching your favorite band play it on full blast. I mean, that's a good example, Wraith. It is, but here's the thing. Sometimes the bands like to change things up, you know, and sometimes that can be just as I, I will not, not just as, but it can be off putting when you're like, okay, that's not what I remember from that song, but I get, I get your point is valid. I'll just say that. <clears throat> oh, I said I was getting out. Uh, I was getting old. Oh yeah. I'm definitely getting old. I mean, it's true. The crow remake got pushed back till August. Are you, are you serious? Really? Uh, what's his name? Bill Skarsgård. Uh, release date. See, this still says June seventh. Um, I don't see anything about Carbonite. I'm curious what you mean, because I don't see anything about it being anything being postponed. Uh, the cam didn't ruin Attack of the Clones. The movie did. I mean, well, I mean, Knights of Old I mean, you're not you're not wrong. It's not the best movie, but. But it's still there, there's something to be said about experiencing things the first time in a big thing. I love the atmosphere movies put you in, especially the sound design. Getting goosebumps from a movie is a sign of a great piece of art. Yeah, or like jump. And I'm telling you, Civil War probably make you jump a couple times in a good way. I've seen a few that had screeners copy on it. Oh, that's, yep, that's definitely a thing. <clears throat> Alamo seems like a distraction, yeah. Did I see uh, Pee Wee's bike in the basement when I went to the Alamo? No, I didn't, unfortunately. But there you go. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay, Billy, I didn't know that. Hey, hey, how's it going? I didn't know that. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know what I did to deserve that, but I mean, you know, I don't usually get trolled that much. I was thinking about that the other day. It's like, I don't know if it's just because it's a different thing. Like, like this isn't like, in the same general area? I don't know. 
Uh, also, there's no basement at the Alamo. I mean, you're right. The stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. Yeah. <clears throat> Was there a battle there? I mean, supposedly. I mean, who knows? I mean, how, how do we know exactly what happened? I don't know. Iron Man changed the solo to Hall Hallowed Be Thy Name, and I was sad when I saw them live. Oh, to Hollow Be Thy Name. <clears throat> see, there you go. That's another one. But see, sometimes, like, you get things that are unexpected, like Nine Inch Nails. I remember when I, I mean, I've seen them many times, and I've seen many different variations of different songs. There's times when they, there's a, there's a remix that came out, like, a year after the Downward Spiral was released. So you're talking, like, 95 okay every time they played march of the pigs they played it with they played the the regular march of the pig song but then it went into this into the remix at the end and i don't like the remix i think the remix sucks so every time march of the pigs came on when they were playing it live i was kind of like oh here we go here we go here's that part of the song i don't like oh there it is you know and it's just kind of annoying but what are you gonna do what are you gonna do? Can they push it back forever? Here's the thing, like, like seriously, it's. I I look at that new Crow movie. I get it, Brandon Lee. It's 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 cemented its place in time. The feel of that movie, the the score, the soundtrack, everything about that movie screams 1994. Right? Totally understand that. But what if you took the idea, and you put it in today? What would that movie be like? What, what would you think about people like, for example, if let's say the original Crow movie came out in 1964, right? I mean, I'm just, just saying, what if it came out in 1964? What would that movie have been like then? Then they go and they make it in 1994. What do you think about all those people that saw the original Crow movie in 1964 and they really loved it? And they see it being made with to, with the aesthetic of 1994. That's kind of how I'm looking at this. I'm trying to keep an open mind about it. There are things about that that trailer that made me go, okay, that looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I totally understand why you don't you you know you're not into it, but I think it could be cool. Was in Houston past weekend. Tried Brett's. It was an experience. I don't know what Brett's is. I want to apologize for the NVIDIA box, Xbox stuff last week. It was posted on the 31st, so I didn't realize it was April Fool's stuff. I felt foolish. I don't even remember that. I don't remember. <clears throat> Maybe it is just Twitter that said that Crow got moved back to August. I mean, as far as I can see, it's, it's, it's a, it's, I mean, is there a official Crow site? No, no, no. The Crow 2024 release date. It says June 7th. Um, oh, no, Screen Rant. Look at this. The Crow reboot shifts release date to late summer. So apparently August 23rd. So there you go. There you go, Carbonite. Breaking news live on stream. I mean, that's a bummer. I still want to see it. Um, what, is it what did it say? August 23rd? So that's a week after Alien Romulus. Which I'm very pumped about. Very excited. No new Star Wars movie till 2026 now, they're saying. At this point... With Star Wars, it's hard for me to get excited about anything Star Wars until it's ready to come out. So they can talk all they want. I don't care until it's ready to come out. Because how many movies have they announced and then said, oh, I guess we're not doing that. I mean, Benioff and Weiss had one. Brian Johnson had a trilogy. Taika Waititi supposedly has one. Uh... Patty Jenkins has one. Just 
don't announce it until you're ready to go. <clears throat> I will say that if it's filming, that gives me a better feeling about it. You know, like, hey, we started filming on, you know, Darth Vader's Knickers. That's the next movie, by the way. <clears throat> Vader's Knickers. What if that's what it was called? And wow. <clears throat> But yeah, there you go. Thank you, Carbonite, for for doing that. I mean, I mean, like I said, I'm I'm interested in it. I'm interested to see if it will be like that. You know, like we're taking the idea of the crow and we're using we're we're gonna do the same story, but in today's aesthetic and today's technology, all that kind of stuff could be good. It could be terrible. But there you go. Is Pee Wee's Big Adventure in 4K? I'd buy that in UHD. Well, that's a different one, though, man. That that's such a a visual feast of a movie that that one might actually work. But I'm talking about like, <clears throat> I don't know, as good as it gets. Great movie, great movie. Not exactly the most visually stunning movie. You know what I mean? So, hell no on Hallowed Be Thy Name. I don't know. UHF, that could be an interesting one. What's Twinkie Dogs? I'm not sure what that is. Ace. Tom Ace. No. I love my Ace Ventura. But hey, how's it going? Good to see you. See, Ricky said I'm stoked for the new Crow movie. I thought the trailer looked really fun. I did too. I think it looks, it's got, like I said, it's taking that idea and put it in today's aesthetic. It may work. It may be terrible. But I mean, we won't know until we see it. I mean, like the other day, Okay, I'll just say this. We were working on the script the other day. And we had we had the guys in there, right? And everybody apparently hated the Acolyte trailer. And I'm like, I didn't hate it. I didn't I wasn't like, "Oh my god, I can't wait." You know, but at the same time, I'm like, "Yeah, I mean, it could be good." So it's just a it's a difference of of I don't know, like I didn't see anything that made me go, this is going to be the worst thing ever. I don't get it. But then again, I'm a, I'm positive. I like to be positive and I like to wait until I can see something before I really judge it. You know, like civil war, the trailer made me go, I don't know, but I heard so many good things that I was like, okay, I need to check this out. So I don't know. That's just me. Oh, Nvidia purchasing Xbox from Microsoft. Gotcha. Gotcha. I remember you saying it now, and I, I I don't remember talking much about it. So I guess it worked out. Because I'm kind of like, okay. <laughs> like, whatever. Uh, One of the only movies that could be on replay. The adventure aspect is fun. It's time to start closing up. Well, you do the thing, Ricky. You do it. Nothing, nothing else coming out late summer. Except for Alien Romulus. Alien Romulus. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I It looks so good. Uh, not as bad as my coworker falling for a phone scam. Okay. How about, um, there is a company that I worked for. I wouldn't say it's like this huge company, but it, you know, they, they made some money. Okay. The company was doing well. One of the executives clicked on a link that was a virus and infected the entire company. <laughs> so it happens. It's just one of those things. Bill Skarsgård made Pennywise rad. Even on the, I mean, I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. I mean, the second movie wasn't great, but you know, Vader's Knickers. Welcome to the dark side of the taint. The strike messed up a lot of plans for everyone. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. I mean, that it's, it's just part of the deal. I mean, that's just, we're going to have to deal with it, which is interesting because CinemaCon is this week and I feel like it's going to be kind of light on news, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. He fell for a scam of them claiming they were uh, FBI and they, are, uh, they named top boss in the company, which is easy info to get, closed the registers and got HEB gift cards to pay them. Oh, damn. Wow. Okay. I mean, that's, that's a little, wow. But hey, I don't know. 
you feel like the the large Marge scene needs to be presented in its full 4K glory. Like I said, to me, Pee Wee's Big Adventure is not your typical comedy. I'm talking about like romantic comedies. I'm talking about, um, let's see. Let me see if I can pick another one. Um... I just thought of something. I just saw a movie that made me go, that never did that ever come out? Sneakers, 4K. Did that ever come out? Uh Okay, it is coming out. It says late 2023. Okay. That that's that should have already come out, but it says be to be notified when Sneakers 4K becomes available on Blu-ray, simply submit your email. So it's not available yet. That's one that I remember when I heard the excitement or the, uh, the announcement, I got excited. So anyway, but yeah, I mean, there's plenty of movies. There's plenty of movies that, that especially like romantic comedies and some dramas even where you're like, I don't really need that in, in the best, absolute best possible quality. Because by the time you get 10 minutes into the movie, you're into the movie and you're not worried about, you know, oh, I can't, I can't see the. The clarity of that of that vase in the background, you know what I mean? It doesn't really matter. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Uh, HEB gift cards. That's weird, man. What's up with new video game? Basically, you're a female has solo. Wait. What's up with new video game? Basically, you're a female has solo. Pretty much stole his clothes too. I'm not sure what you're saying. Because, look, here's the thing. Name a thing, and somebody on the internet is going to have rage about it. But, what are my thoughts on the poll? 43, 39, 17. I think, uh, I mean, it looks like Chocolate Eclair is going to win. So... And Robert Rivera, I think I said hi to you, but how's it going? Uh, I would like to be taken somewhat serious here, so apologies were in order. Oh, well, I mean, you've got mail. It's top-notch romantic comedy. I love that movie. I own it on DVD. I don't know if I need it on Blu-ray. It doesn't need to be. It's not a movie that screams, oh, I got to see the clarity of Meg Ryan's dress or whatever. I just... I just don't care. I don't care that much about it. I have the movie. I'm I'm happy. But there you go. Uh and Robert, yeah, Alien Romulus, the I love the aesthetic. I love the idea that the fact that he picked that it's set 20 years after the first Alien movie in 1979, right? 57 years passes between Alien and Aliens. This takes place 20 years after Alien right? And yet the space station that Alien Romulus takes place on, one level was, is an older, like an older level. You know, it was built earlier. So it's got that same aesthetic from the first movie. And then the new level was, I mean, it was, it was made later. So it's got a newer aesthetic that's a little closer to the aliens form of, of things. So I love the fact that he's getting kind of getting to play with both settings from from both movies. And it's a story point. You know what I mean? And that's really smart. And I just love the way that everything's shot. Um, it just it looks like the movie that I want to see. So I'm super excited about Romulus. And after seeing Kaylee Spaney last night on in Civil War. We might be in for a treat. I'm just saying. Because she can act. And I like that. I heard someone say you can see the puppeteers in Aliens 4K. I don't know. I, I don't even know where to look for that kind of stuff. Like there's plenty of things where, you know, you can see the Millennium Falcon in Blade Runner. You know, it's part of the, the cityscape. I've never seen that. But then again, I've never looked for it either. So there you go. Oh, oh, Ted. Yes. The Outlaws game. 
I mean, yeah, it's basically a dollar store, but it's a bounty hunter and it's, and it seems like it's a, a kind of a new story. The problem is we haven't seen a whole lot of the game and I kind of want to see what the game plays like because I don't know. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. You should, you, we should end it. We should end the poll. Well, we should do the, the thing beforehand, but looks like you're basically a female Han Solo. I mean, yeah. Okay. Here's something that I've, I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to post this, tweet it, whatever you want to say now on X, Twitter, 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 X, X, Twitter is one of those things where it's like, I miss the old days when if there was something that you didn't like, you just ignored it. You didn't have to tell everybody about it. You know what I mean? You didn't have to go on the internet and say, I hate this thing that doesn't appeal to me. Because I remember, you know, have you ever gone into a comic store? Like if you're a comics fan, like if you ever, did you ever buy comics? Did you go in there and go, I'm going to trash the, the Silver Surfer comics because I don't like them. Well, just don't buy them. You know, or don't look at them. Don't pay attention to them. Why does this thing exist? Because somebody out there likes it. Like, it's okay. I think the Captain Marvel, they can make Captain Marvel movies forever. Right? They don't necessarily appeal to me. I'll give them a shot. But if I don't like it, I just don't watch it. There's plenty Plenty of Star Wars things out there. There's Star Wars books. There's Star Wars comics. There's Star Wars games. There's Star Wars board games. There's Star Wars toilet paper, for God's sake, right? I don't buy it all. I'm not going to get mad when something doesn't directly appeal to me. I I just don't understand. Am I, am I, am I wrong here? Like I go into a comic store, there 99% of the stuff in there does not appeal to me. And that's fine. <laughs> so I just don't buy it and I ignore it and I don't worry about it. You know, I don't know. I just don't understand why it feels so like, like a futile thing to do, you know, just it, the futility of just complaining about things you don't like. It just gets old. Like I'd rather focus on the things that I'm excited about, which is what this whole show is about. You know, like, Hey, look at this thing. It's cool. I'm excited. I'm not going to be like, Oh, look, there's a cabbage patch movies coming out. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think there is, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, there's plenty of stuff that comes out that I don't cover because it doesn't appeal to me. It's fine. Y'all, there's another show out there, you know, about that. Not for me. Anyway, so basically what I'm trying to say, Ted, is I'm not trying to come down on you for that, but I also, it's, it, that thought has been crossing my mind more often than not lately, where it's like, well, why is this Star Wars thing coming out and it's this? And I'm like, oh, well, if you don't want to play it, don't play it. Like, I don't like Lego. So why is there a Star Wars Lego game? Because some people like both and they want to make a Star Wars Lego game. I'm a little disappointed with the Star Wars Lego game because it wasn't as fun as the original ones were. But I'm fine with it. I had I had fun with it while it lasted, and then there you go. I, I move on with my day. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway. Hey, some people need clicks, you know? Some people love the rage. And so people make YouTube videos going on and on about the rage. You know, and it's like, okay... I don't want to be the guy that gets angry at things. I want to be the guy that says, hey, he's the guy that likes the thing that I like. So I want to hear what him say. I want to hear what he says or whatever. I don't know. I'll move on. I feel like I'm in a rut, you know, where I'm just like, okay, now we're in the rant rut and I don't want to rant. I don't want to rant. It's Tuesday night, man. Sort of 42 show. Not ranty McStuffy pants. I like movies when possible in 4K, even comedies and especially black and white movies. Movies are like time capsules. Absolutely. You're right. 
But if there was a choice, I would rather them go for the big movie that looks amazing than as good as it gets. That's that's all my point is. And there's plenty of there's plenty of amazing movies that will look good in 4K that they can focus on. There are a lot of them that I'm like, yeah, you don't have to worry about that one, you know? So, or let one of the uh, little boutique Blu-ray manufacturer guys, let Second Sight or Kino Lorber or whatever, whatever have that, have those movies. And yeah, so there you go. But I totally agree with you. I mean, I have, uh, I don't have Casablanca in 4K. I need to get that. But I mean, I bought recently, I bought that Double Indemnity. I've seen it once. I don't really remember it, but it's in 4K. It's Criterion Edition. Dude, I'm pumped for it. So, yeah. I have a CRT still, so all the 720, 1080, 2K, 4K, 8K nonsense only matters when I game. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there you go. If there was a movie title that would describe your life, what would it be? Naked and Famous. I don't know. Uh... I don't know. Um, (laughs) Confidence, which is totally the opposite of me. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Dazed and confused. Maybe. I don't know. Nothing wrong with a female Han Solo. I'm for it. I just think it looks janky. That trailer that came out today looks janky to me. But in a in a way that it's like, okay, I can see what you're going for. I can see the kind of story that you're trying to tell. Okay, maybe. Maybe. But it also looks kind of janky to me. But there you go. Uh we couldn't tell everybody back then to be fair. Well, and that's the thing, Rufus. The thing is, is I still feel that, um, I don't know. It's one of the first things that I was taught as a kid. And I'm again, I'm not coming down on you or anything like that. But I'm just saying, I was taught early, early on in my life that if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And for me, I would rather talk about the things that I like rather than the things that I don't like or the things that don't appeal to me, or weren't even made for me, you know, but that's just me, like, a lot of those Marvel movies, like, I can't, I can't say that I've watched the Marvels yet, I have it on Disney Plus, I still haven't watched it, because of all the, oh, it's not that great, and all that stuff, but I will eventually watch it, and I'll judge it on its own merit, I try to judge it on its own merits, and not based on what a lot of people that don't want to watch movies with girls in them, I get it. And there's a lot of people that say that Disney has got this agenda. I don't really see that. I see that they're trying to look at the the scope of people and say, okay, we can make $2 billion on this movie. And then, oh, let's make this Captain Marvel movie. And oh, I don't know if you remember, it made a billion dollars. So yeah, they'd want to make another one. It didn't apparently work out very well. Okay. Okay. They still made a billion dollars on the last one. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I just feel like my energy is better focused on things that I like. But that's because, because of that. Okay. We're going to, we're going to show, oh God, it's tied again. 25 votes and it's tied. Chocolate eclair, peanut butter. We got to decide. And depending on which one wins, I might have to go get the stuff so I can do the mixing. Because otherwise, like this one, I can just, you know, go for it. But this one, we have to mix. So, you guys need to vote. Bam, bam, bam. Vote. If you haven't voted, vote. If you don't vote today, you don't get to vote anymore. Um, At least not today. So, there you go. Somebody choose. Uh, did I get to see the eclipse? I did, and it was awesome. I try to take pictures and uh, it it didn't they didn't come out. But there are plenty of pictures that are much better than what I could have taken. The only picture that turned out for me was when I took pictures of the 
of the shadows, which I thought was cool. Uh, which is, it's one of my favorite things that I always used to love when, when that would happen is that the shadows of the trees are all crescent shaped, which I think is just neat. But, and there's actually a really, really cool one where it's, they're like circles. And that was really neat. Uh oh, 41% peanut butter and grape jam. Well, we're going to end it. We're going to end, we're going to end it right now. Um, rainy and cloudy here. Couldn't see anything. Yeah, that, it was close here. We were really close. There was definitely some cloud cover, but it cleared up for us enough to, that we could see it. It was pretty awesome. So yeah, off the nut, please. All right. Peanut butter and grape jam, jam monster. Something that I've had, like I said, many different times. Don't really need to shake this one and do the whole eye contact thing because it's already mixed and ready to go. Now, here's the thing. I haven't had this in a while. And, you know, sometimes they change the recipes and it goes, doesn't go well. But we're going to do the nuck. Little dot. You see the dot. You can see the dot. The little, little drop. Let's see if it's changed. It's awesome. Great. So, here we go. And again, look at that beautiful wick job. Come on. That is pretty. That is just pretty. So, yeah. Get a little bit on here. On here. Right there. Let it soak in. Okay. And then get the other side. Soak in. Turn this sucker on. It's on. 80 watts. There you go. It's ready to go. Let's do it. Uh, there we go. And we already know this one's good. So there you go. This is what you guys chose. You chose the peanut butter and grape jam monster limited edition. It's not limited. This has been out for years now. It's not limited anymore. Tasty. Tasty. So the peanut butter is, in a lot of vapes, the peanut butter is like in your face. And it's sometimes it almost tastes like, like almost like a burnt peanut shell kind of flavor. And it's not great. This one, the peanut butter is nice and smooth. It's, it's just nice. The grape flavor, it tastes like like you took a like a scoop of grape jam or jelly and just... And, uh, and then there's just a little bit of this toast flavor. Uh, which, in some of the, this company's, some of these other flavors, it's not great. This one, it's perfectly balanced and it's one of my favorites. I'll get the... The grape jam sometimes, and then I'll get the, the strawberry jam sometimes. They have banana jam. They have all kinds of different flavors, but grape and strawberry, those are my favorite. It's great. Tastes awesome. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for voting in the chat. And we've got about 10 minutes before that Joker trailer premieres. I figure we'll just go ahead and do it. And if you guys want to step out for a minute, go ahead. But it's only going to be like a couple minutes, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but if you just don't want to see it, then just, you know, pause the stream for a minute. Or, look, you do what you want to do, you know? Nobody's telling you you have to do it, you know? Uh, by the way, real quick, I want to show you some things I got this week. Huh? First up, this is a book that it's part of the Tolkien, what Tolkien's written, and it's a book I never, I've never read and I've never owned before. It's called Mr. Bliss. 
And I don't know if I have to say it like that, but I'm pretty sure it's Mr. Bliss. Anyway, the weird thing about this one is that when it originally came out, it was kind of like this, right? So what they did in this book is they gave you both. So when you're reading the book, you know, it's got his drawings and stuff like that in it. But then you turn it like this, you get to see his actual writing. And then here's the text up here. Very cool little addition. And it's just a small, tiny little book. But yeah, eventually going to read that because you know me, I'm a Tolkien whore. I shouldn't say that. I'm a Tolkien nerd. Okay. The other two things, something I, uh, in fact, I think I showed those during the, uh, our little Discord chat on Saturday, which thank you guys for showing up on the Discord chat. Love that stuff. It's fun. Getting to hear from you guys, like your actual voices. Like it. But anyway, Kino Lorber has that sale going on, and I got two 4K Blu rays for the collection Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy with Gary Oldman. There's, uh, what's the show? Slow Horses on, on Apple TV with Gary Oldman is a great show. And after watching it, it made me go, I really like this movie. I need to own it. And then I was like, oh, it's on sale. It's on sale over on the Kino Lorber sale. Got it. Very cool. And the other movie, yeah, look, this is one of those. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I enjoy it. Even though it's, I mean, let's be honest, it's pretty cheesy. Face Off. That's right. I got Face Off in 4K. So I'm excited. I'm excited to watch these again, to revisit them. Haven't opened them yet. There you go. You got the things. So pretty cool. Those are my my pickups for the week. So let me uh, get caught up here. Uh, I need Horror of Dracula, Maltese Falcon, and other Peter Cushing movies in 4K. Hey, that's, that's, yes. Yes, all of them. Get all, get them all. Get them all. Helen Hunt is one of my favorites. I have as good as, get it, as it gets in 4K. That's part of the reason I picked up Columbia Classic 4K Ultra HD Collection Volume 3. Shows on the seat. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with that. Just for me, I have it on DVD. And it's anamorphic DVD. And it honestly, blown up, it looks fine to me. I don't need that movie in 4K. I would rather wait and spend the money on the 4K movies that I think are actually going to super benefit from the 4K transfer. Does that make sense? I mean, I'm sure it does. You know, you, we all have to pick and choose. But that's that's how I go about it, you know? So, there you go. Uh, and Helen Hunt, you know, she's really good in that movie. It's a great movie. Great movie. Uh, haven't seen it yet, so I'll check out the trailer after stream. I won't be surprised if it looks janky. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's not great. Helen Hunt is very handsome, like Glenn Close and Jodie Foster. Sorry I left for a minute. Fall of 2024, Joker 2. I need to see it again. The first one, you mean? Off the knuck. Yeah, hey, we did the knuck, man. We did the knuck and it was good. Uh oh, is it already is it already there? Is it already out? Is the trailer already out? Oh, well, there you go. Why did they say that it okay? Well, let's watch the trailer. Let's watch the trailer real quick, okay? Let's do it. So here we go. Official teaser trailer from Warner Brothers Pictures. Let's do the thing. Well, I don't know why it was doing that. That whole, that, that crap was annoying. That was really annoying that it kept freezing. But wow, I gotta say, that looks great. That looks great to me. Uh, I mean, that could be awesome. But thank you. Sorry. Sorry, I was, I was behind. I was behind. But there you go. Uh, like the Fast movies, they aren't for Rob and other people don't like them, but they made a billion dollars. I mean, there you go. There you go. Joker trailer during the muted vape. Yeah, I probably could have done that. Probably could have done that. Good teaser. Yeah, it's good. It looks good. Peanut butter banana jam, bro, I need. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's PB and jam monster, but banana. So, yeah, totally. 
Uh, sorry, I was behind. I was behind. Bro, I missed a Discord call. Yes, it was on Saturday. Yes, sorry. And it was kind of a short notice thing, too. It was, yeah. It was, yeah, it was a thing. Uh, I like in Deep Geek, he does some good Tolkien Lord of the Rings videos. Oh, yeah. See, some of those are great. Crow 4K Steelbook sold out. I know, I'm kind of scared. Because hearing about all the, the horror stories from, uh, uh, from that. By the way, I saw uh, Gamer Tamers in here. Hi. I, I didn't actually say hi. Yeah, you took some, you definitely took some pictures. It's kind of neat. That's one of the cooler ones, I think, with the, uh, with the red there. It's pretty neat. But yeah, I, I put up my phone and I'm like, okay, it doesn't look great. I'm just going to, you know, enjoy this like a person. So I didn't take any pictures because I knew there were going to be great pictures out there. But yeah, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, with all the James Cameron stuff, the James Cameron stuff, man, they've been sold out for so long. And a lot of people that pre-ordered on Amazon still haven't gotten theirs. That scares me for my crow. But hopefully, you know. You guys leave me out on purpose. I know I'm an ADHD monster, but it gets better once I'm comfortable with folks and not so overshare monster. Jokes, but message me, folks. I never want to miss those. Well, I mean, I do do the everyone. And again, it was it was it was like I think I gave everybody like two hours notice. So it's it was my fault for not planning correctly. Kind of. I mean, mostly it was like I didn't know I was going to be alone on Saturday. So I just said, hey, screw it. Let's do a quick a quick thingy. So there you go. Um, yeah, I know I was, I was muted. This isn't for me already, but glad others like it. I think it looks great. I think it looks great. I mean, I think that that, uh, there are moments in that first Joker movie that I think are really great. There are other moments where I'm kind of like, man, it's fine. You know? Overall, I kind of came away going, yeah, that was good. That's another one where I purchased it. Probably never see it, probably never need to see it again. But this one, that looks interesting. I, it looks interesting, but I love the end with the glass. Oh, absolutely, right. That was awesome. Uh, I kind of like the trailer. I had no expectations since it was uh, said it was going to be a musical. Kind of excited to see it. Yeah, that that I'm totally down. I think the notice was fine, but I have Discord on while I game. Oh, you mean the, the notice for the... Yeah, and I mean, it's... Hey, you know, like I said, it's... I have... I have all of my... Um, I have all of my, my notifications for other uh, Discord servers. I have them turned off because I want to see when you guys post on mine. But I do keep the everyone on on everything. So if there's anything big that's announced, I get to see it, you know, and I'm like, oh, there you go. You know, so there you go. I mean, but hey, I, I get it. I'm sorry. And no, we, we didn't leave you out intentionally. It was really not the case. But it was, you know, oh, hey, I got a free couple of hours. You guys want to get on for a bit, you know, kind of thing. I thought Joker was great. Like Taxi Driver was great. This is going to be very different. Yeah, it looks it looks very interesting. Very interesting. I like it. Uh, so here's the deal. It's it is now eight thirty, and I have to use the restroom. So if you wouldn't mind, just giving me a moment to go put water in there. I'll be right back. Okay, hang on.
I wasn't fapping. No fapping. Uh, but yeah, um, I really, and, and that's the other thing. I don't have a microphone in the bathroom, so there's really no chance of that. I like to hear the stream during the stream. Then we know he isn't Skynet. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to hear that. You don't need to hear that. Let me go pay a water bill real quick. See, I always say, you know, I've ta talked about this before. Oscar, how's it going? By the way, hi, good to see you. But yeah, um, I do the, uh, uh, I need a place to put my pee. Can I put my pee somewhere? I, I say things like that. <clears throat> Also, the Deadpool and Wolverine movie has an actual trailer now. Really? 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 Well, there is a trailer. I see the teaser trailer. I don't see... Because uh, Disney's... Thing at CinemaCon is tomorrow. And those are from Screen Culture. That's... Ooh. Um... Are those... Is that leaked? Oh, no, no, no. Is that leaked? I'm just watching little clips. I don't know if that's because screen cultures and that's not official. Teaser Pro, not official. I always wait for official trailers. There's a lot of trailer two going on here. I don't know about that. So I wait for the official. That's why I don't like I'm not a big fan of other websites. Uh Po or other other channels posting trailers because then you don't know which one is the official one. So that's that may be a thing. Uh, you'll send me a link? Okay, send me a link. But, I mean, it's probably, I mean, it's probably fake. But, I mean, while we're here, why don't we talk about that? So the reason that we have this new Joker trailer is because CinemaCon is going on right now. And CinemaCon is basically a convention where the studios basically try to show theater owners an actual, you know, that's what this is. It's a convention for for the studios to show the, the theaters, the theater owners, hey, this is what's coming out in the next year. So this week we have, uh, we have Warner Brothers, that was yesterday, and Lionsgate and Universal and Focus today. Or wait, is that right? No, Warner Brothers was tonight. Last night was the opening, and they screened the movie Fall Guy. Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt, they screened the movie. Bunch of reviews came out, uh, thoughts and things like that. There's a lot of people that really liked it. Uh, I heard one say that it was uh, Campia was is there, and he said it was like it's like 15, 20 minutes too long, but otherwise really, really entertaining. So I'm excited about Fall Guy. So Warner Brothers was tonight. Lionsgate and Universal Focus features slash focus features that's tomorrow and then we've got paramount and disney on thursday so thursday is liable to be a pretty big day as far as news and maybe some drops maybe some some interesting things um and of course we got the joker trailer and the reason that it probably premiered as early as it did instead of it being at 8 30 which it was supposed to be was probably because that's when it uh was shown at the Let me see. Tap to the. Yeah, see. Yeah, Christian, that's not that's not a those aren't official trailers. I mean, there's some trailers in there. There's probably some actual trailers in there, but that is not official. There has not been an official trailer two for Deadpool and Wolverine, only the teaser. So anything you're seeing there is pr most likely fan made, which is kind of annoying. Um, so I'm not going to watch that because I mean, if, if Warner wants to claim me for showing the Joker trailer, 
okay, I'll mute it or whatever, or take it out. Um, I don't want some, sh you know, weirdo schmo who wants to claim my video for showing their, their stuff on there. I'm not doing that, but that's the way it goes. Uh, Oh God, not leaks. I didn't go watch Infinity War in theaters because I got spoiled at the ending on the ending. Oh yeah. I don't think there's leaks. I think, I think those were, I think those are just fake or they're basically cobbling together different footage from different things. So yeah, but the crow, yeah, the crow we've, we've, talked about the crow already the crow is is a thing some people really like it me and ricky apparently we, we really like it everybody else seems to hate it <laughs> but i'm looking forward to it i i think it'll be fun to watch um it'll be interesting to see a, a new take on that on that story if that's what they do if they're just trying to i don't i don't know i don't know what they're gonna do all i've seen is a trailer um so yeah, let's get into some, a little bit of news. There's not a whole lot. There's a lot of, of course, we've already talked about the mummy. We talked about alien, but today is the 20, yeah, 20th anniversary of one of my favorite movies, Shaun of the Dead, and it's returning to cinemas as well. I saw Shaun of the Dead in the theater opening weekend in here in the U S of course, and love it. I love that movie. I'm probably going to try to go see it in the theater again because I love this movie. So there's that. And also, of course, I said earlier that, uh, and we're pretty much done with CinemaCon, so get on out of here. Uh, with Shaun of the Dead. Oh, no, that's not what I was, was going to say. I've talked about Alien coming out on 426, which is kind of interesting. I didn't even... It took it took me forever to realize LV426. They're going to show the 45th anniversary on April 26th, right? But here's the thing. Uh, I haven't re I haven't done a review of Alien yet on my Ridley Scott Review-a-thon. So I figured that this is the perfect time because I can revisit it in the theater, which I've never seen Alien in the theater, and I can read up on with this because I've not, haven't read this yet. So the making of alien JW Rensler, who, uh, what, like a couple years ago passed away. Amazing, uh, author. He did the, a lot of the, the star Wars books and he did that great Indiana Jones book. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to read this sucker and, uh, try to get, uh, ready for the release of alien on 426. Tickets are not available yet, apparently. So, yeah, but yeah, I'm 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 excited for that. Um, and of course, there's the Mummy coming. I think I said that. Um, so a bunch of re-releases this year, which is kind of interesting. Shaun of the Dead, I had no idea it was going to happen. So, and I already mentioned Dune Part Two is returning to IMAX on April nineteenth. Um, I'm just going to say this: next week is going to be a little strange as far as uh. As far as Order 42 goes, as far as I know, we're going to have a regular stream on Tuesday, but the rest of the week might be a little weird, at least for a couple of days, because it's part of getting old, right? But it's also Crohn's boy. I have to go get a colonoscopy. Isn't it fun? It's so much fun. The day of prep is just a joy. So yeah, I got to do that. That's next week. Um, but I will also say that if you've noticed, I have been trying to get to see movies and get the reviews out as quickly as possible. Civil War doesn't come out in the theaters until Friday. I got to see it last night because of their, their early screenings. Those are available for a lot of movies. In fact, I'm going to one on Saturday for the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. So I'm going to see that almost a full week early get a review out and hopefully, you know, yeah, there you go. So it's going to be fun. And, uh, if you guys want to do it, all you have to do is, you know, 
look up the movies a couple of weeks early and see if there's an early screening. So there you go. Uh, oh, and Carbonite is looking forward to The Crow. Okay. The Crow for me is wait and see. The look reminds me of uh, Devil May Cry. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen the OG Crow a million times. Just want a new take on it. Yeah. And, that's, and that could be what it is. But who knows? And I really like Bill Skarsgård. I mean, I saw him in, uh, was a Barbarian? He was great in that. In, in, in the part that he has. Great. And I've seen everything I've seen him in. I've been impressed. So you've got red on you. I love Shaun of the Dead, man. I love it. And yeah, 20 years, man. You were nine years old, 20 years ago. Wow. Wow. I like Shaun of the Dead at first, but my dad's, wait, my dad's ex's son would watch it every day. Okay, well, that's that's a lot. But it's a great movie. Once you turn 30, you are no longer welcome in the chat. We don't tolerate old people. <laughs> There's a lot of old people in here, but that's okay. Did I get the link? Yes. Did you not hear me talk about it? That Christian, the, uh, the, what you sent me is a, a video of a lot, like a lot of trailers in one video. That is not an official trailer because the official trailer has not been released for Deadpool and Wolverine. There's been a teaser trailer and that's been out for a while, but there is no trailer too. So I'm not even going to click on that, at least on stream, because I don't want to get claimed by some rando, right? Don't want that. If Warner Brothers wants to claim me for showing the Joker trailer on stream, so be it. I'll cut it out of the stream. But otherwise, yeah. There's no way that it's fake? Well, again, that's another thing. If it's not fake and it's not the teaser, then I don't want to get destroyed by Disney for showing it. So I will watch that later. Um... I don't know. I don't know if you could post that in chat, actually. Um, really? And that's the other problem. I can't. What a. Oh, God, you suck. Yeah, that's the teaser trailer, Christian. That's the teaser. That's been out for weeks now. Yeah. Yeah, that's the teaser. Um, so yeah. We've been talking about that for a long time, Christian. Where have you been? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> But anyway, uh, let's see. What else is on the agenda here? Oh, by the way, just want to say that if you're interested, Ridley Scott's apt Gladiator sequel title revealed at CinemaCon. It's called, get ready for this, Gladiator 2. So there you go. I just thought that was funny because it was like, I mean, okay. All right. But it was revealed at CinemaCon, apparently. Um, I just thought it was funny. So there you go. Also, recently, uh, Robert Downey Jr. has been doing some interviews, and he says that he would happily return to Marvel after his Oscar win. But he also says that he wants to, uh, he would want to preserve what happened. So maybe that means that there's an alternate Iron Man in the multiverse or something. Maybe a villainous Iron Man. That could be interesting. But yeah, who knows? Uh, I just thought that was kind of interesting. So. Oh, I thought the teaser was Deadpool's mask and him saying, oh, you thought this was going to be a trailer. We don't have a budget for that, but there's a new move. No, that was still a, uh, a teaser. That um, That one was considered to be the teaser. I mean, look, Ryan Reynolds does a lot of promotion for everything he does on his own. I don't know if that's what that was that you're referring to, but no, that's that's just the, the teaser trailer. That's not the brand new trailer. 
uh, there's probably going to be a brand new trailer. My guess is on Thursday because that's when Disney's thing at CinemaCon is going to be. And unfortunately, you know, I, I, I'd like to know if there was a possibility that I could go to CinemaCon next year. That would be really cool, you know, for Order 42. Since I'm a movie, mostly a movie thing. I think it'd be cool. So what I sent you was a second teaser. Yeah, but that's been out for a while. So, yeah. It's okay. But, you know, we've already talked about that stuff and stuff. Now, this one, I don't know if anybody's going to care about this. But because, again, movie dork, I'm a big fan of Francis Ford Coppola. Apparently, his new movie, uh, Megalopolis, faces an uphill battle for, for a mega deal. Just no way to position this movie. Now, listen, listen to some of the things. So what happened is, March 28th, he screened this for a bunch of different studio heads, distributors, things like that, right? And, of course, Francis Ford Coppola... The Godfather, Godfather Part 2, Apocalypse Now, Bram Stoker's Dracula. He's made a bunch of great movies. He's also made a bunch of bad movies, right? A bunch of them. Bunch. So here's the deal. This movie's got Adam Driver, Lawrence Fishburne, Dustin Hoffman, Giancarlo Esposito, who apparently is in everything, Shia LaBeouf, John Voight, so here's some of the things that people said. Of course, the just no way to position this. Uh, everyone is rooting for Francis and feels nostalgic, but then there's the business side of things. Uh, a conspicuous silence at the end of it. And But then said, does it wobble, wander, go all over the place? Yes, but it's really imaginative and does say things about, does say something about our time. I think it's going to be a small specialized label that picks it up. Another one said, I find it hard to believe any distributor would put up cash money and stay in first position to recoup the P&A, that's uh, print and advertising, as well as their distribution fee. Uh, another one said, this is a specialty label founder, says, I liked it enormously, but describes it as a very big film that has a real life. How do you define commercial? You look at movies like Blade Runner and it became so much more commercial than on opening weekend. But then said, it won't find a home at his studio. He says, it takes time to find the right match. And then probably the last one that was really bad, he says, it's so not good. And it was so sad watching it. Anybody who puts PNA behind it, you're going to lose money. This is not how Coppola should end his directing career. So, Look, again, uh, Megalopolis is something that I've been looking forward to because I'm a fan of Francis, but man, that's not good news. That is that is not good news. So, I don't know. Uh, will officially premiere in competition at the Cannes Film Festival, according to an individual uh, familiar with the project. The film will debut in a gala slot on May 17th. Yes. Yes, that was... That was announced uh today or yesterday but again that's just a film that's like a showing that's not distribution there's no box office tied to it there's no you can't recoup money on a film festival release so i don't know yeah coppola wrote the screenplay in the 80s and it's finally brought the film to fruition investing over 100 million of his own money into the project yeah it's it's just one of those things where i like seeing artists create and there was a there was a quote I don't remember who said it. It was something like, uh, oh, I can't remember it now, but it was actually kind of a neat a neat thing. Um, yeah, CinemaCon tickets are one thousand three hundred fifty dollars for non members. Yeah, and you have to be approved. So you have to be someone that's either a cinema member or someone that's, uh, I, I would like to get press, you know, I would like to get a press pass so I could see a lot of the cool stuff that not just regular people can see, you know what I mean? So that's why it's, it's kind of like, yeah, 
but I would love to go. I think it would be, it would be really cool to be able to go. Um, but yeah, I mean, the whole thing with this is, I mean, who knows? Like George Lucas said that he wanted to, after Star Wars and after he sold it to Disney, he wanted to make his own little art movies that nobody would want to watch. And I'm like, I would watch them. And he, apparently he hasn't done anything like that. He's been doing other things. I don't know what he's doing. But he's not he's not making little art films. I I want to see this. You know? One of the uh one of the things that they said was that there's a scene with John Voigt where he's in bed and apparently his uh a blanket covering him and he has a huge erection. And I'm like, that's a that's a weird thing to take away from that movie, if you saw it. Apparently, that's part of the thing where it's like, this movie is out there. It's got some big ideas. So who knows? Yeah. Maybe A24 could pick up the movie? I mean, here's the thing. Their whole thing is that their Civil War is their biggest budget movie release ever, right? And they want to get into some bigger things. And they've had a, I mean, you might not say it's a great track record, but they always try to do interesting things. Um, and I like that about A24. I don't know if this is the movie to do it though, because a hundred million dollars of print and print and advertising, that, that's what Coppola is looking for. That's a lot of money for a little studio like A24 to put up and that it's a pretty big risk. I just don't think he's going to get what he wants for it. So I don't know how it's going to work. Yeah. But yeah, man, CinemaCon would be fun. Um, I mean, like I said, CinemaCon is going on right now. It's a four day event. And like last year they showed, yeah, they show movies, they, they show new movies that are coming out like a couple of weeks in advance. They showed uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife early. They showed Top Gun Maverick early. And usually you get to see like 15, 20 minutes of a movie or whatever, which I just think would be fun. And it would be kind of cool to see the studios and how the theater owners like, I want to see more about that process, you know, because I'm, I'm the movie business is interesting to me. Now it would be interesting also to get in there and schmooze a little bit, maybe meet some folks, you know, and go, Hey, I got this movie that I'm making, <laughs> you know, but it would be interesting to, to get to see more of the process, you know, I'll watch Megalopolis when he has to put it on Tubi. I know. I mean, this is one of those where it just, and that's the thing. And it's one of the things that I had to learn just doing YouTube, but just because you work hard on something or just because it was expensive to make or just because it has a lot of actors in it doesn't mean it's a good movie and it doesn't mean anybody's going to watch it, you know, or want to watch it. So it's a, it's a really weird um, lesson to learn. And of course, he's 84. This is a passion project for him. I don't know. Not even Netflix will buy it. They throw money away. I know. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a really, to me, it's an interesting story because he is, I mean, he's 84 years old, but he's also one of the best directors ever, right? He's, he's in the, he's in the conversation. He directed the conversation. It's a good movie too, by the way. Um, but no, he's, he's definitely, you know, he may not be top five, but he's definitely top 20 best directors ever. I could say that Coppola might be up there. I don't know, but he's up there. Um, I just, I don't know. I, 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 I want to see this movie <laughs> and I want to, and the, the story behind it is really, really just really interesting to me. So yeah, I can't believe we went through that so fast. I had like all this, the, the new stuff and we basically just blew right through it. But I mean, like you look at Apple, right? 
they gave Martin Scorsese a bunch of money for Killers of the Flower Moon so they could release that. Didn't do great in the box office. Did the same thing for Ridley Scott, for Napoleon. And both of them are not successes. So I don't even know if somebody like Apple, I mean, Apple could probably afford to do it, but I don't even know if somebody like Apple would would take the chance on this. You know what I mean? Especially after the last year. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. But there you go. That's that's the show. Anybody got anything? What do you guys want to talk about? Because it's only 9 o'clock. What's up? Hit me. Hit me with your questions. Hit me with whatever. By the way, I will say, we were working on the script this weekend. Uh, fourth draft was finished on Thursday. Um, we sat down, we went through it and everybody seems to think it's in a really good spot. There are some more changes to be made. So a fifth draft is going to be worked on soon. Haven't yet, but going to start working on that soon, but the changes are very minor. So we're in a really, really good place and I'm really excited because I love that everybody seems to be, I think, I, I think, yeah, I think, I think we're in a good, a good spot with the script. So very excited. Um, so yeah, take that, put that in your pipe and smoke it or whatever. Yeah, this is early. I've been bailing early or falling asleep lately. Hey, I know. Usually I have enough news to, to last, but I didn't have a whole lot of news uh, this time. And what I did have, I just kind of blew through it. So, because whatever. What's on my shirt? It's the Bounty Hunters from Empire. So, uh, I can never, I always get them confused. Zuckus and... Barf Nugget, the pancake. I don't know. Uh, the IG88. Oops, IG88. Bosk, Boba Fett, Dengar, and the other two, and the other two. So, um, so there you go. Uh, if Civil War isn't in your top five war films, what is? Um. Okay. Man, that's tough. Okay, Civil War is not in the top five. But what would be in my top five? Films. I'm trying to think of different wars right now. Because, of course, you've got Saving Private Ryan. I've got Thin Red Line. I love those movies. Both of them. And they're both, like, like almost opposite movies, which is really interesting. Uh, if you're into World War II. Like, Saving Private Ryan is kind of feels like almost like what it was like to be there. And then Thin Red Line is more about, like, the internal and how it affects people. And I really like that movie. Um, and I'm not a huge... I mean, look, I like Terrence Malick, but he's, he's talking about somebody who's already, you know, um, God, Black Hawk Down, um, God, Full Metal Jacket, I'm just trying to think of, like, Yeah, that, that's a tough one. Zulu? I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Okay, wait. I think he needs to go around the country and show the movie and film people's reactions and make a marketing campaign off of that. And then the studios might change their mind. Yeah, but how could he do that? How could he do that? How could he just... Dis- I mean, you're basically talking about he's distributing the movie himself. That's what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to put more money into it. He wants to start getting paid for it. 
Um, so I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. Is Warner Brothers showing uh, a new Furiosa trailer? I don't know. But all I know is, like I said last night, when I watched Civil War, they showed it again in IMAX, and it was so good. Man, that trailer's awesome. And it's just, it just, it just gets you pumped up, man. Michael Caine, African War, pre-World War I. Not sure which one that is. Come and see. I haven't seen. I own it, but I haven't seen it yet because it's on. It's on my list. I'm I'm making my way through a you know a lot of movies. I just watched uh, Prisoners. It was the it was the second time I watched it, and of course it's Denis Villeneuve, and it was like it was you know it was seven dollars at half price books, and I'm like I mean no brainer right? So yeah, um, yeah. Fury, that's a that's not bad. 1917. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I don't I I didn't get attached to that one as much. I Station Zebra. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I still haven't watched Come and See and I own it. Yeah, I I own it too. And it's just one of those where I'd heard so many people talk about it and how it like this movie will like change you. And this is not like a popcorn movie. This is sit down and have your day wrecked basically. I want to see it and it's, I'm going to watch it. I just haven't yet. Um, I was trying to think of, of movies that were not world war two or Vietnam. I think my post was skipped. I didn't, I haven't seen one for you. The last one that I have for you, I'm on freaking lo Why am I on top chat? I'd already changed that. It's annoying. I still don't see, I see I'll watch Megalopolis when he has to put it on Tubi. That's the last one I show for you. Even on, on live chat for that, for some reason, I was on top chat. Paths of Glory is another one. That's uh, Kirk Douglas, right? Um, and Stanley Kubrick. I know of it. I haven't seen it. I don't like modern era war very much, so I haven't seen many. Find them disturbing. War movies, I mean. No, I get what you mean. I posted fly me to the moon trailer and the cup and the cup showing Wolverine Wolverine look at CinemaCon in discord. The flaw, the fly me to the moon trailer was great. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I'm down for that look of Wolverine. I gotta say. I'm down for it. Very interesting. Oh, there's there's another one. Dude, that looks cool, man. I don't I don't know. I think that looks cool. That definitely looks cool. Thank you. But yeah, Fly Me to the Moon was great. Uh, that looks like a lot of fun. Play the video and shows Deadpool on the other side. Oh, I did, and it won't. I don't know if they're, dude, they, it's not my internet. It can't be. It's just not loading. It's just spinning. It won't, it won't load for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, that's weird. It wouldn't load in Discord, but here, hold on. Hold on. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's weird. It wouldn't play in Discord, but it'll play just fine if you just click it on Twitter. That's where weird weird no nah. interesting but yeah um I, I i like that i like the way that, that looks so this could be really that, that could be really fun this could be really good man i'm nervous man i'm nervous for that movie because i really want it to just completely kick ass the second deadpool movie i'm fine with but it didn't it didn't have 
the first one was pretty pretty good. The second one was kind of eh. So <coughs> probably has to do with mobile Discord app on iPhone. I mean, possibly, yeah. Hmm. Everybody, I mean, you know. I want the haters to shut up about Disney. Oh, they won't. As long as it gets views, they won't. And I actually was thinking about doing a, a video that basically says that a lot of those haters are not haters. They're fakers. And they actually like the stuff. But they saw that this negative crap, these negative videos get a lot of views. So they just leaned into it and they just started making a bunch of negative videos. But I don't, I don't, I don't want attention for that. I just don't. I, I, I honestly think that there's going to be a lot of people out there that I think that's exactly what they do. Because otherwise, man, those are some very, 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 very unhappy people. And that's the thing. It's like, I, I think that people should be more positive in general. And I'm not saying toxic positivity because that is a thing too. But it's it's like, once you realize that, like if, if you go your whole day and you realize, I haven't said like a nice thing or thought a nice thing all day. And then I'm just negative all the time. You, you can get in those patterns where it's just, you're just negative all the time. And I, I know this because I was one of those. I, in fact, it was my wife that said something to me and she goes, do you, I'm just curious, do you like anything anymore? I'm like, what are you talking about? She goes, all you say is negative stuff, like almost all the time. And so, yeah, I went through a period there where I was just really negative on everything. And once I really stopped and thought about it, I'm like, wow, I really do. I just bitch about a lot of stuff. And it just, it made me go, I don't want to live like that. I don't want to live in that just constant negativity and, and hating on everything and just like, and then it made me realize, okay, well, instead of thinking about the things that I hate and things I don't like, those are things I can't change. So I might as well, if I can't change it, I might as well just focus on the things I like. So that's what I started doing and I was happier for it. And I think I'm a happier person to be around as well. But now you're just bitching in general. Oh, cryptic. Thank you. By the way. Hi. It's been a while, man. I've seen you in Dave stream from time to time. But yeah, it's been a while. It's good to see you. But yeah, it's just that's to me. It's 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 a pattern of negativity that these people have gotten in, whether it's it's something that they don't realize or it's monetarily it's, it's, it's good for them monetarily, you know, because they get more views, which means more money. And I'm not that kind of person. I wouldn't. And it's also, there, there are so many different trends on YouTube that I just can't chase because it's not in, it's not in my personality. Like I can't do trailer reactions. You saw my trailer reaction uh, when, when we were watching that Joker trailer. Boring, isn't it? <laughs> it was, it was the only thing that I, the only reaction I got is when it kept freezing. That's it. So, yeah, it's it's just one of those things. Uh, I just I can't I can't do it. Like I'm watching Civil War and there's I mean, okay. Civil War last night. It was packed, packed, like packed all the way to the. I mean, I didn't see an empty seat in the place. There are moments of levity in the movie. People laughing at the joke or you know, at the scenario or whatever. And I'm sitting there the whole time. I didn't react at all the whole time because I'm like, I mean, I get that there's humor there, but man, I'm not, this is not a happy movie. It felt weird to, to laugh. It felt weird to sit there and see people eating popcorn while this crap is going on. I'm like, this is, uh, -uh. this is not a movie that, uh, you know, I'm going to sit and have a hot dog while I watch America get destroyed. <laughs> you know, it's one thing to, to watch America get destroyed when it's a huge monster because it can't happen. 
when you're watching stuff that could happen and that you can like, it's, it's a different feeling, you know? So I don't know, but yeah, toxic negativity. It's, it's everywhere. It's, and what's funny is, you know, I, I'm definitely into the movie side, right? I'm definitely, I definitely see a lot of it there, you know, whether it's Disney, whether it's, you know, whatever, right? You see all the movie hate. Then I go over here to the vapes, you know, scene and the same kind of negativity is there too. And then I got into something else. I can't remember what it is right at the moment, but it was like, I can't believe the same kind of people where it's like extreme, I extremely like it or I extremely hate it. And there's no one in the middle talking. It's just, it's just these completely opposed people yelling at each other. And I'm like, why is it like this everywhere now? It didn't used to be like that. You know, you could have a conversation or you go, Hey, it's fine. Eh. Like for me, that's most of the time I'm in the middle going, you want to make, you want to make a movie about someone that's not me. Okay. I'll give it a shot. May not be for me though. Just saying. And that's all that, that like I would have the most boring videos when it comes to that stuff. You know? Well, a lot of people are saying that this is going to be the worst thing that they've ever seen blah blah blah. I don't know. I think it looks fine and I don't know. I've I've seen a trailer. I haven't seen the whole thing yet. So, I guess we'll see. Thanks for, you know, subscribe, like and comment, you know, and like it wouldn't work four views you know what i mean off to your final fantasy 14 stream have a good night shozama thanks for being here man it was good you prefer popcorn for that yeah see that's not me man i'm like like when i'm watching something that serious i'm like locked in and i just i don't know even the even the comedy doesn't work as well for me because i'm like i don't know i'm just I guess I'm weird that way. True, they were hating on X-Men 97 for being woke. Then it came out and everyone loved it. They moved on to hating on Star Wars Acolyte. I don't get that either. I don't get that either. Like, I look at that trailer and I go, okay, there's some cool things in it, but I don't know. It could it could suck. Here's the thing. I've seen great trailers for terrible movies. I've seen terrible trailers for great movies. I've seen terrible trailers for terrible movies. I've seen great trailers for great movies. Basically, a trailer just is is there to get you in the seat or to get you, you know, clicking the button on Disney Plus or whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's it. It doesn't mean that the thing's going to be good or bad or whatever. Give it a shot. I that's how I look at it. Hi Rachel, how are you? It's good to see you. But you know what I mean? It's like that's that kind of that kind of talk, you know, these constant, you know, Kathleen Kennedy with fire behind her. And it's just like those are the thumbnails. And I'm like, are you guys seriously this angry all the time? It's to me, that's sad. Do you ever get excited anymore? Is there anything good happening? Because I don't know. There's a lot of good. I mean, especially Star Wars. Bad Batch is amazing. That show is great. If you're a Star Wars fan, Bad Batch is awesome right now. Well, I mean, I've always liked it, but you know what I mean? It's like, that's really awesome. But then again, I also look at the good things in, and I try to focus on, like, I think a lot of people, and I'm not trying to point fingers or anything like that, but I think some people will see a movie and they will look at the, all the things they hated in the movie. I look at all the things that worked in the movie. And I try to not worry so much about the things that didn't click. I try to focus on the good things. What did they do well? And usually a good movie is when the good things outnumber the bad things. I watched the Acolyte trailer and I saw a lot of good things. I saw a lot of meh things. But I won't know if the show is good until the show comes out. Because that's the way it works. I don't know. Got to bail. But keep being awesome and stuff. Bucho. Have a good one.
five of Christopher Nolan's movies are returning to Regal Cinemas for five bucks. I saw that. I saw that. But it's I think it's interesting that they're doing so many different re-releases, right? So you've got The Alien, you've got Shaun of the Dead, you've got uh, The Mummy, you got Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace is coming out again. It's just interesting to see so many. And maybe it's just because I've been paying more attention. Oh, there you go. That's cool. Regal. I don't even know. Do I have a Regal name, Ray? I think I do. I think I do. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Dark Knight, Interstellar, Inception, Insomnia. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen Insomnia. Wait a minute. That's the one with Al Pacino, right? Okay, I think I have seen it, but I don't really remember it. I like to like things too. It's harder these days with media. Oddly not S, uh, SFX or LUTs and color correction. You haven't seen Dunkirk or Interstellar. I've seen Interstellar once, and that's one of those where I keep wanting to watch it again, but I keep putting it off. And I have it. It's part of the Nolan collection right there. What does that come with? That comes with Dunkirk, Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Returns, Inception, Interstellar, and The Prestige. The Prestige is another movie that I've only seen once. Yeah, and Robin Williams, yes. Isn't in Alaska? I think so. But I don't, I just, I barely remember that movie. Still haven't seen Dunkirk or Tenet. Man, I remember Dunkirk being one of those where I was kind of like, wow, I didn't really care for that. But again, now that I have it as part of that set, I need to just go through all those movies. Like visually things are better, but good stories are further and... F yes. No, you're right. You're right. And it, it's... there's a There's a lack of... It seems like even more than, and, and maybe that's one of those things of, of getting old where you're like, back in my day, we had blah, 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 right? I don't know if that's true or not. I feel the same way that I feel like stories are more like movies don't have the creativity there. And the real creativity when it comes to storytelling seems to be on, you know, streamers, you know, so, you, you know, your show guns and your. Uh, Masters of the Air and um, what is it? For All Mankind. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? It feels like that's where the really great storytelling is happening right now. Uh, of course, Breaking Bad was a, you know, a series. These series are seem to have a lot more of the the, the storytelling portion of it. So I don't know. It's a strange, it's a strange time right now. And I think most directors would, would say, you know, would you rather have a two hour runtime or a three hour runtime? Depending on the movie, depending on the story being told, they would say, oh, three hours. So I want the three hours, you know? And then the studios are like, no, 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 cut that down, you know? So I don't know, man. It's it's a weird situation. I mean, now you've got like Shogun, I think is 10 episodes. <laughs> 90 minutes. Well, I'm just saying it depends on the story, you know, like to me. Um, and it's it's again, another Roger Ebert ism, something Roger Ebert used to say. He said, uh, no good movie is long enough and no bad movie is short enough paraphrasing but yeah so basically <laughs> you know what i mean it's like that's the way it works if it's a good movie then you want it to keep going and if it's a bad movie you want it to end as quickly as possible so we were the lucky ones wait we were the lucky ones is one of those storytelling that should be seen by everyone we were the lucky ones we were the lucky ones i don't know what that is or maybe I do, and I just don't, I'm not. TV miniseries. 
a Jewish family separated at the start of World War II is determined to survive and reunite. How have I not heard of this movie? Or this uh, series, I'm sorry. It's a series. There you go. I didn't know. <clears throat> Probably like an eight for for what? Duh, for, for what? Interstellar? I need to rewatch it. Might like it more. See, to me, Interstellar and Arrival are two movies that I remember thinking, yeah, fine. But there are people that say that Arrival is like their favorite movie like ever. And I'm like, really? I didn't think too much of that movie. But I also, I watched it with April. And if she, uh, here's the thing. That's that's one of the things that, it, you know, man, some people, some people can change your opinion of a movie while you're watching it. So I want to watch that movie again without her influence. And not to say that her influence is bad. It's just that I know that I was probably influenced by her, by her uh, feelings on the movie too. You know? So, both kind of thinky. See, I like, man, I like my thinkies. I, I like to be able to sit there and, 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 and go, yeah, that's, that's an interesting idea, you know? I don't know. But yeah, Interstellar is one of those where I just, I remember liking it but not loving it dunkirk like it not i didn't love it but i'm all i just i look at movies different now so i'm really curious as to how those movies will play for me movies that i was kind of like i was kind of like meh and then you watch it again and, and i can really appreciate it now so I'm, I'm kind of interested to do that um And you saw that yesterday was Rex Manning Day, right? Yeah. It was also Game Dave's birthday yesterday. Uh, what, is it, what was that? Today is April 9th, and I have how long to watch... What? And I have how long to watch what? I'm not sure what you mean by that. But if you're saying that... Um, I don't watch enough. That's probably true. I probably spend too much time in my own little world. Lately, what I've been doing a lot is, um, and this is something I, I have and I need to break. <clears throat> spend too much time uh, watching crap videos on like Twitter and stuff. I need to totally, oh, Society of the Snow? Yes, I know. I know. It's another one. But I spend too much time doing that um, or reading stuff on Reddit that doesn't matter. Um, I spent four hours today. This is way too long. This is like, it's too much. Like looking at alien stuff. It's not helping me and I'm not getting, I'm not getting any further. And I'm just getting frustrated because there's not a lot going on. And I'm looking at these videos and I'm like, that looks like, like, that looks seriously looks like a balloon that looks like an action figure that was so you know what i mean it's like yeah dunkirk is my least favorite movie from christopher nolan interesting yeah see i still i, I want to watch it again and see is society of the snow the same story as alive yes i i mean Rachel could probably answer that better than I could because I haven't seen it yet. But I'm pretty sure it is the same story. Mm. By the way, we were talking about food last week. Or no, we, we were talking about food on, uh, on uh, the little Discord chat. 1917 is the movie, Wraith. That movie's, that movie's pretty dang good. It's not my favorite, but I still really, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, April made some of the Arby's fries in the air fryer. And it smells great. And I've been kind of thinking about it ever since I got back from the bathroom. Is that I kind of wish I had some Arby's fries. But I don't. And eating on stream, I hate that. I hate the smacks. 
you know. So there you go. In fact, you know what I want? I want to try that new, uh, what, I can't even remember what it is now. Those frozen Arby fries are good, right? And in the air fryer, uh, I tried that new Whataburger, what is it, the steakhouse? Eh, I'd rather have a sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy was awesome. You want waffle fries now? Yeah, I'm... I'm hungry. Depends. It depends on what happens, but there's a good possibility that if I'm done with the stream and April's in bed, I might be going to give you something to eat. Cause I'm hungry. It's the same story, but a different point of view. Kind of the checkers fries are good too. I've had those. Oh, and we have an H E B opening tomorrow. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited because I like AGB and it's been a long time since I've actually been in one of those. Save me some <laughs> sweet, spicy burger is the way to go, man. It is, it is really tasty. It's a really tasty burger. Um, we've got, it's, it's, it's actually kind of ridiculous how much stuff is opening near me. And I don't even know what's coming, but they've like, like, oh yeah, this whole place, this whole section that was farmland. Yeah. That's going to be a bunch of stuff. And I'm like, oh, well, what's going in there? And like, oh, I don't know yet. So I'm like, oh my God, what are we going to get? So yeah. Let's see, I taught myself to bleed the air out of a butane torch and fill it properly. I've been using propane camping tanks to do tanks to do dabs for far too long for no reason. Okay. Not sure what that means, but all right. Yeah, Carbonite, it's a beautiful movie, and I don't I don't throw that that B word around. Okay. What is that? Is it one of the sugar heads? I don't know what y'all are talking about. I confuse you too often. I'm sorry, Rob. It's all right. Oh, H E B. Uh is it one of the super H E Bs? They got all kinds of stuff. All I know is it's got it's got a uh a separate like barbecue. I don't know if it's a restaurant or if it's like a barbecue shop. Like, I don't know if it's like a butcher. I don't know what it is. So I guess we'll find out. I don't even, I don't even want to go around that place until like two weeks from now. Cause the, the traffic is going to be insane. 20 piece nuggets are over $9 now. A few months ago, they were under six. Are you kidding me? I haven't had nuggets in a long time. Um, I was at the grocery store and it was a 12 pack of cans, Pepsi for $8. I don't know about you, but that sounds ridiculous. Cause I remember when, uh, they'd go on sale and it was 12 packs for $2. Now it's $8. Is that right? That can't be right. Like, why is it all? Is $8 the norm now? For a 12 pack of Pepsi? I wonder if I misread it. And it was like a 24 pack. Because 12 pack for 18. I don't know, man. That's. That's crazy. Uh, And needless to say, I didn't buy any. But I was looking at milk, and milk was like super crazy expensive. I'm like, whoa. Uh, let me see. Um, oh my god. That's even worse. Look at that. The 10 pack of the little tiny ones are $7. A 10 pack. Let 
That's crazy. There's a 12 pack, 12 ounce real sugar, $10. Doesn't that make you just that? Like, thanks, Obama, you know? <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but yeah, HEB, I'm, I'm excited about it. The cloak, the Coleman propane tanks. Yeah. Like that's, that's what I thought it might be like, um, cause we have, I say it's, it's not really that close, but it's pretty close. We have a, a Bucky's and that Bucky's has a portion of the store is like all, you know, um, barbecue grills and stuff. And it just makes me wonder if that's what it's going to be, or is it going to be like a butcher shop, or is it going to be a restaurant? I don't know. I'm excited, though. Can you tell? 20 piece and basket of fries is over $20 in Cali now. I had a 20 piece nugget the, uh, the other day, I guess yes, yesterday or the other day, when I got stuck in Illinois from all the traffic from the eclipse, didn't get home until 6.30 this morning. Oh my God, really? I don't know how bad the traffic was here yesterday because I didn't go anywhere except for, you know, later that night when I drove to Dallas. Uh, and it took me, it took me about, I'd say 35, 40 minutes to get there. I was kind of driving kind of fast because I like to drive fast. On the way home during the storm, I think it took me about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm not sure exactly how long, but it was a, it felt like a long time. Yeah, time to buy generic. Yeah, well, or just don't buy it. I don't buy I don't buy cans. The only thing that I buy at the store drink-wise is stuff for April. Um I've even quit drinking the cuz what I what I would do is once a week, I would buy one of the they're not 20 ounces, they're like the 16.9 ounce of like Coke Zero or Cherry Coke Zero or something like that. And I would have maybe one a day, one every other day, right? Not anymore. Because, yeah, no. Yeah. So I don't, I just don't, I, I drink water and tea. That's it, pretty much. Now, if, if, if I'm going to get, you know, like if April's like, hey, why don't you go pick us up? Poo, or whatever. I'll go, I might get a drink there. But I usually don't drink Pepsi or Coke products anymore or Dr. Pepper or anything. Sam's Cola looking real tasty now. What does Sam's taste like? I don't even have a Sam. Well, we have a Sam's close by. We have Costco near us. But I'm wondering, like, is Sam's like, is it like Pepsi or is it like RC or like, what is it? Soda and water are about units and shelf space. Two liters and jugs are a bit more than 20 ounce and the flats of water or cases of soda you get per unit. I mean, that sounds, yes, true. <laughs> Best Buy replaced selling movies for scooters and, and e-bikes. Well, maybe there's a bigger profit margin on that stuff. I mean, I'm not trying to say that it's it was a good thing for them to do, but I definitely don't have any reason to go to Best Buy right now. I don't even know what Toretto is. But I do drive I do drive fast when given the opportunity. It's fun. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's fun to drive fast. Your local Walmart, a 12 pack of Pepsi is six fifty. Wow. I don't understand that, man. I was trying to find just regular Pepsi. So there's a 24 pack. So a case of original Pepsi, $15. Now, let me look at my local Walmart and see. Uh, you 
Yeah. Okay. So this is at at my local Walmart. Twelve can twelve cans, six forty. That's still a lot, man. That's still that's still a lot. I stopped at a Walmart to sleep around one in the morning. I couldn't go any further from only having two hours of total sleep. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. This is a weird thing to talk about, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I drink my tea, right? I drink, I drink, usually I drink one in the morning. So instead of coffee, I have tea and then I don't drink any, I drink water the rest of the day. And then at dinner time, I usually have another glass of tea. Well, because I was going to the movie, I said, okay, I'm not going to have tea. I'm just going to drink a five hour energy. I was up till five in the morning. I drank the five hour energy at like five 30, six o'clock. And it still kept me up till like five in the morning. Caffeine is affecting me differently than it used to. I don't know what the hell's going on. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, but yeah, no, definitely stop. My McDonald's app says 20 piece nuggets are 909, but a 40 piece is only 1289. That's weird. I, I like I said, I haven't bought nuggets in forever. I usually get I get my 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 old my old reliable now, and it's all because of freaking Jay. I get the double cheeseburger, a McChicken, a small fry. That's what I get. In fact, that sounds really great right now. <laughs> you like the H E B Dr. Pepper? Dr. B better than Dr. Pepper. It's not as sweet. Sam's is like RC. Yeah, okay. I have had Sam's. I'm not a big RC Cola fan, but. Oh, Toretto. Gotcha. Gotcha. See, I, I don't, I don't, I don't watch those. Not for me, but that's okay. And here's the thing. So like, okay, Godzilla x Kong, right? Not for me. But I am really happy that it's doing well at the box office because I love the movie industry. So hopefully, it, uh, you know, hopefully it can keep it up. You know, we can keep it up and have, you know, have a big box office year. And theaters are like, we're going to have this. Blah, 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 blah. I don't even know what I'm saying. But I'm excited. Just blows my mind how much cheaper it is to buy a jug of water or a two liter of soda. And why the shelf space concept doesn't apply to cases and flats. No, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. But see, here's the thing. See, I mean, I have a house, right? And when we moved in, uh, we were basically like really, really af like soon after we moved in, we noticed our water sucks. And it's because it's very, very hard water. And so like it can, you know, in some cases, like I know, uh, where we used to live, there was a, uh, when they would sprinklers, you know, the hard water would basically rust on the, there would be like orange spots where the sprinklers would, you know what I mean? So anyway, one of the first things we did is we said, okay, we buy cases of water all the time. Let's, let's look into getting a water softener and a purifier or a, a, you know, our own thing. So we got the water softener that's in the garage and then we have a filtration unit under our sink. So we get very, very good clean water that we just, it just comes out of a little thing. So we got these jugs. They're like two and a half gallon jugs or whatever. Put it under there, put it in the, in the, in the fridge. We got great, cool water all the time. And it's great. It is really great. I just can't, I can't, I can't imagine doing that anymore. Cause I mean, our recycling, we'd have to take our recycling out every single week because we were filling it up with water jugs because we drank so much water. Now we don't have to worry about that. It's just thought it's pretty nice. Now, again, I mean, we have a house and all that, but you might want to look into a filtration sort of system for wherever you live. It's just a thought. Save a lot. I mean, it just saves a lot of effort and we don't have to worry about it as much. So, you know, you drive like a Toretto. It's fun to drive fast, man. 
it's just the weird thing is, is I don't know what it is. And this is something I'm, I'm kind of curious about. I feel like in the last, right around the pandemic, people just started driving like, I don't care. I'm going to go as fast as I want. Like it's freaking Autobahn. And then all night, almost every night, I hear motorcycles. Because, I mean, we, we live somewhat close to a highway all the time. And I'm like, how are these? Okay, number one, how are they not, like, all dead because they're driving so far? I can hear that they're going really crazy fast. And number two, how are they not getting caught? Is nobody, like, the cops just don't care? I don't, I, I just wonder if that's something that other people have noticed. And it seems like right around the pandemic, it's like everybody just stopped caring about the rules of driving. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. Uh, I drink a ton of unsweetened tea. I can't believe I used to drink tea with sugar in it when I was a kid. Sugar is quite literally killing us. Yeah. Um, so what I use is stevia. And I use so little that most people go, why are you drinking unsweetened tea? That's what it tastes like. Because I don't like super sweet tea either. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I do. I use the app, buy a large fry and a Big Mac and get a free quarter pounder. Hey. All that sounds good right now. Everything sounds good because I'm 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 hungry and I didn't eat very much for dinner. You know what I had for dinner? This is one of those things where I'm like, I, I just this just sounds good. I had a crunchy peanut butter and strawberry jam sandwich. That's what I had. And now I'm really hungry. So you always filter your water here. Have to New York city pipes are ancient. It's way more, not it's way more fun to drive a slow car fast than a fast car. Slow. I don't know, man. I mean, mine's a pretty fast car. It's fun all the time. I have well water. It's free and mineral rich. There you go, Carbonite. That's, I mean, that's what we had in, uh, I say we, that wasn't me. That's what uh, my in-laws had for a while, and it was really good. The problem is it, uh, it ended up destroying their teeth. And I don't know what it is about it, but yeah. So over time they had to start they had to start using something different. I don't like drinking tap water and I'm surrounded by the Great Lakes. I just don't trust it. I'm buying gallon jugs from 7 Eleven. Used to have a Brita, but I got grossed out by it last time I cleaned it. Yeah, but that's that's what you're saving though. That's that's the point of a filter, of a filtration unit. That's good. That's a good thing. But I mean, I understand. If you want to buy the hey, you want to buy the jugs, buy the jugs. I'm just saying for me and for April, how much water we drink. Because I drink Typically, I drink three of these a day. And these are 30 ounces. That's a lot of water in bottles. That would be... That's a lot. In one week, that's minimum... Let's see. Those are 24 ounce, I think. That's four of them. So four times seven, 28. That would be 28 bottles that I would drink in a week. That's a lot, dude. So yeah. And then, you know, April 2, it would be different. McDonald's app saves you money. I've never used the McDonald's app. Maybe I need to start using the McDonald's app. The kids around here drag race all over the place. Okay. I only do 137 miles per hour when I ride my bike. Whoa, that's fast. This is why I love your stream. Just movie and food talk. My two passions. Well, hey, I mean, I don't know what got us onto this, but yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I bet Ricky gets to retro blues in 20 minutes, 18.3 minutes. But if I go to the speed limit, then it takes about three or three and a half hours. Okay. I don't know if it go, you're going that fast. I think you'd have to go like 180. Wait, wait a minute. Speed limit 65. And three and three, yeah, you're you're going you are super fast to get there in 18 minutes. I mean, when racing at grid life or drifting, it's so much more fun to drive a slow car hard and a fat 
and fast than a fast car that's just fast. I get what you mean. There's a train system I saw when I was in Texas. Ever take that? Never. It's not, it's not something that's very well thought out. Now, you could probably, I should say, one could probably make plans to live like that. For example, live next to one of the stations. But it's there's so few and far between that it is not, for most people, it just doesn't make sense. Because you'd have to either ride a bus or drive to the train station, then take the, you know what I mean? And it's just not, it's not, yeah, 65 means 75 in Texas. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, it's not, it's, it's just not very well laid out for that. There's definitely a lot of trains, but only one real, like there's only, I can't even remember what the, what it's called. But it's supposed to link for downtown Fort Worth and downtown Dallas and have some stops in between. But again, it's so few and far between that it's just not, it just, it's not, uh, no. I've never, I've, I'll say I've never once thought to, to do that, but yeah. Need to visit the haunted railroad tracks in San Antonio at night and leave powder on your car. And when you come out, there's handprints on the car from your, from the ghosts because they push you off the tracks. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard that story too. So I don't know if that's real or not, but look, I think I'm going to go ahead and get off here so I can, uh, maybe get some food. Did you guys ever, uh, did the guys ever talk about making more chasing the unknown all the time? It's really lately. It's been trying to get everybody on the same page and getting together all at the same time. That's the toughest part. Absolute toughest part right now. Um, because on Sunday, Jay wasn't there because Jay had some things to do and I don't, it's, that's, that's really the, that's really the only thing. The, the toughest thing right now is trying to get on the same page with that. So, but we do want to do more for sure. So hopefully, hopefully soon. I've seen it debunked. It's downhill, but it doesn't look like it. Oh yeah. I've heard about that too. I've heard about the, the handprints. Like some people, oh yeah, it's absolutely real. And then some people are like, yeah, not, but Hey, that's, but there's tons of that stuff in this area that we should be looking at and we just haven't done. So hopefully, hopefully, but look, here's the thing. As I said, um, if you're interested in the ministry of ungentlemanly warfare, I will have a review up Saturday night. It'll be late Saturday night probably, but I'm excited to watch that. Um, that comes out next Friday. So the 19th, I'm excited to see that. Uh, hopefully you guys check it out and stuff. So yeah. I hope you guys have a great, uh, thank you again. Also, thank you for being here. Just like I said, being here, just chilling. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So y'all have a great night and we'll see you when, when we, when, when I see you and stuff and Filbert. Hello, you're late, but Hey, it's okay. But we're going to, I'm yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go have some food because I'm hungry, but y'all have a great one. And, uh, we'll see you later.